hello, hello, what's up tonight, everyone? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Fine Thursday to y'all. Good to see you, good to see you, good to see you. What is up? The Mike Arnold, the Great Destroyer, Verity Black, Elastrexa, A Tamako, Lord Boy Scutter Snipe, The Bathman, Embody. How's everyone doing today? Oh dear. Uh, yeah. We're gonna have some fun tonight, maybe. We're gonna test our luck. It's been a while since we played a coin flip deck. I know, I know, I know. Traditionally, I'm really bad at lucky things like flipping coins, but I think that means I'm due. I think it's time for us to win coin flips and draw cards and omniscience and fiery gambit and <laughs> I just want to see what happens. I, I think I'm addicted now since we played the since we played the dice building back or the dice rolling back in standard on the YouTube. Plus, this one just came across Twitter today. Squad Chief was tweeting about playing a dice rolling deck or a uh, coin flipping deck, and I was like, "Hey, give me the list," and he gave me the list. So definitely check out Squad Chief's uh, stream if you want to see other sweet modern decks because I I, got, I made a couple of small changes. There weren't enough blood moons for my taste, of course, but uh, that's where I originally got the list fun. So that's the plan for tonight. We are, we're flipping it. We're flipping it. <laughs> Seeing what happens. Fictional. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big stupid cheer for you. As a backup, uh, we'll see if we get to it. We have the combo zombie deck. I don't know if you saw on the YouTube, the short. This is a combo I didn't know about. Someone, this is one of my favorite shirts. This is this is the perfect shirt for, for coin flipping dot deck. It's a hypergeometric calculator shirt. So once we flip our coins and uh, we see how... <laughs> How unlucky we are, we can just plug in the numbers to the shirt and find out <laughs> mathematically how unlucky we actually were. I don't know if you saw on a, on the YouTube the short about the, the combo zombie deck. This is the combo I missed. I actually completely missed Shambling Gas going infinite until someone mentioned it to me. And it's actually pretty exciting. Like, Shambling Gas goes infinite with Lillian untouched, uh, untouched by death and a sack outlet. So it's perfect for, like, Goblin Bombardment Zombies decks. So that's the backup. We're going to play it at some point. If we don't play it tonight, we will play it in the future, I promise. Hey, what's up, Dribble Music? How are you? So, uh, so yeah, that's the plan for tonight. But how's everyone doing tonight? Hopefully everyone's doing well. I am doing... Oh, I'm doing well. We just got off a super long, crazy Commander Clash. This is... Recording the last episode of the season, it is almost time to wrap up the season. Uh, an episode goes up tomorrow, then the episode recorded today goes up next week, and then it'll be the end of the season, and then it'll be time for a shakeup. Things are changing for the next season with the crew, with the ban list. It's gonna be it's it's gonna be an interesting next season. So so that was uh, most of my day it was crazy commander clash. So get ready if you like three hour games. Uh, it was it was a long Long grindy crazy, probably a little shorter once it's edited, but it was a long grindy crazy game. Chicky Bros, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Be super cheer for you. Anyway, let's do our reminders. Hey, welcome, and Nick Kagan. Good to have you. Always awesome to see first timers at the stream. Bedlin, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Be super cheer for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How many times did Crim Steel called? Oh, I don't wanna. I, I mean, I don't wanna. I don't, why? Why do you assume there's called? Why do you assume there's Cauldra? It's, it's, hmm, interesting. Uh, well, <laughs> I don't want to give too much away because it was a really sweet game. Uh, a really sweet game. <sighs> All right, so let's do reminders. Let's talk about deck number one. Let's start flipping coins as we go along. We can talk bannings in standard. I mean, that's the big news since our last stream. I don't know what y'all think. I forgot to mention this. I don't know what y'all think about this. I don't know. Is it still... Is it still up somewhere? It's got to be somewhere. Did you see we already had a banning in Standard 21, uh, 2021? They banned the Book of Exalted Deeds. They already banned the Book of Exalted Deeds. Uh, of course, this is this is Standard 2021. This is not official, real, best of three standard. This is the arena format. Uh <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. Uh, that's why we're not playing standard or standard 2022. That's a that's why we're not playing standard tonight because they're implementing the ban tomorrow. The deck was pretty busted. I don't really like their justification for it. Their justification was was a 
it was frustrating was one of the things they brought up, which not a big fan of frustrating being a justification for bannings. They did mention that games can never end, which I think is that's a more legitimate reason, but also probably an arena issue that they should fix. But Paladin Yang, uh, but I was uh, I mean, I was crushed with that deck, so I can't blame him for banning it because it was probably too good. But welcome to the fishbowl. First time sub. Thank you for your subscription. Big super cheer for you. So that's the big news. But anyway, reminder time. Re that's a problem. The problem with using frustrating as a banning criteria is frustrating is very subjective and personal. What you find frustrating, I might find fun. What I find frustrating, you might find fun. I love blood mooning people, but I know for a lot of people getting blood mooned on like turn two, really frustrating. Does that mean it should be banned? Or another good example in Standard, like, some people love janking people out with Embercleave in Standard. Like, it's it's something they really enjoy. They like playing aggro decks. It's a powerful card. Uh, other people find it incredibly frustrating. I find Embercleave pretty frustrating. Or the Curious Obsession deck. Curious Obsession. Oh my goodness. I don't think that if I had to pick my single most frustrating standard deck of the last few years, it was probably the Mono Blue Curious Obsession deck. I was incredibly frustrated by playing against that deck, but other people loved it, and it was budget-friendly, and people really enjoyed playing it. Do you ban all those cards? Like, So I don't know. I think frustrating is a, is a tough criteria to use. Although, again, I do think Arena isn't... <clears throat> isn't designed to support the combo and the games never end i guess that is a legitimate issue but i hope that spurs them to like fix arena like add a clock to best one that's one thing i've been playing standard 2022 because uh because i've been playing best of one because of standard 2022 and my biggest takeaway is they really should have a clock in best of one it's kind of crazy that there's not because people can salt rope for like 45 minutes the way the current system is doesn't have to be a fast clock that like pushes people to like play faster but there should be something that's like okay you're salty roping me for 10 turns in a row your clock's gonna run out eventually but uh all right let us do our reminders and talk about this deck replay youtube that's we invite all the old streams including this one in the future we can talk more about frustrating as we go along because i think it is an interesting justification the banning itself whatever like standard 2020 22 is in a real format so whatever but i think it is an interesting interesting justification normal youtube yesterday we weren't flipping coins we were rolling dice in standard for against odds tomorrow we got a sweet modern deck for much of brew still got the legacy top 10 to go up a bunch of interesting new stuff coming as well so keep an eye out for that a reminder that our sponsor tonight is car kingdom and maybe you need some magical cards you know where you can get them you get them at carkingdom.com even get a free mtg goldfish sticker let them know you want one they'll hook you up you can get adventures in the forgotten realms or haven gold edges or tainted ethers you name it they can hook you up with it so thank you to car kingdom for supporting the show chicken brows chicken eyebrows with the gifts up to you blur and wand welcome to the fishbowl hey what's up dog how are you thank you for your subscription big tip for you thank you Thank you, thank you. Otherwise, merch page, clean out Richard's garage, donations always appreciated, never required. $2 or more gets your message read on stream. So let's talk about this ridiculous deck. So what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing with this deck? We are flipping coins. So why are we flipping coins? The biggest answer is U3 Fortune Flame. U3, a new Modern Horizons 2 card that we haven't played, although it did show up on Commander Clash. When you attack, you flip between one and five coins. For each flip you win, you draw a card. For each flip you lose, you take two damage. If you win all five, you get to draw five cards, obviously, and cast stuff from your hand for free this turn. So one turn omniscience. So that's one of our big payoffs. However, there's other payoffs. We have... <laughs> Flip a coin to take an extra turn for three mana in Stitch in Time. We have Fiery Gambit, which is ridiculous. Three mana, flip a coin until you lose or stop. If you lose, it does nothing. If you win one flip, it lightning bolts a creature. If you win two flips, it does six damage to each opponent. If you win three flips, you draw nine cards and untap all your lands. So a card that rages from zero to draw nine, untap all your mana for three mana. We have Chance Encounter. If we can flip twin coins and 
win those flips. In a game, we win the game on our upkeep, and that's essentially the idea of the deck. We're hoping to get now Kirk some, obviously, to increase our odds of winning a coin flip. Flip two, choose the better one. Otherwise, Snapcaster can, like, flashback Fiery Gambit or Stitch in Time. Counterspell helps keep us alive. Tavern Scoundrel, another way to flip some coins. Ragavad wraps us into our other stuff, and that's essentially the deck. We're trying to flip coins and hope that flipping coins can lead us to victory. Run K! Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big ship for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Is this deck going to be good? <laughs> Is it going to be good? Uh... Yeah, who knows? It depends on our coin flips. It could be the it could be the greatest deck in modern if we win all of our coin flips. <laughs> I will warn you now, Alter Boy, welcome to the fishbowl. Unfortunately, Carrot's Tom is legendary, so it does the effect would stack, but it is not easy to have two on the battlefield. Uh Alter Boy for the 24th month two-year resub. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big super for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness, the monkeys are rented. Oh. I don't know if you've seen this, on Magic Online, Ragavan is insanely expensive, to the point where, like, I think that, I think that Wizards needs to do something about it. Like, I think they need to bring back drafts, or, like, Ragavan is very heavily played. It's a staple in Legacy, it's a staple in Modern. It is up to $136 for a single copy. One copy! That means a playset is going to set you back, what, $500? $520? Something like that? Way, way, way too much. I actually... Look at this deck. Look at the deck we're playing. Let me let me go to my decks here. I So I saw this deck on Twitter. I uh, mentioned it was from Squad Chief, tweeted about uh, playing it. And I put together the deck, and I was like, oh, that'll be, you know, fun. Like, that seems interesting. Let's let's give it a try. So I put the... How much do you think this deck costs? How much... Look at these cards. We're playing we're playing coin flip cards. We're playing janky coin flip cards. Sure, we got a real mana base. Sure, we got some Snapcasters. But we're playing Useries and Chance Encounters and Fiery Gambits and Tavern Scoundrels. Like, really bad cards. This deck is $900 on Magic Online. $1,400 of paper, $900 on Magic Online. And that is in large part because of Ragavad. Like, getting those Ragavads, $547. So hopefully Wizards does something about that because that is that is ridiculous. That's just way, way, way too much. Like, cards being a little bit expensive is one thing, but cards being that expensive, I think, is a, is a negative for the format in Modern. But, well, stream mode achieved. All right. <laughs> so what is your prediction? I know over the course of my life, playing Magic, I think I'm like a 30, a 33% coin flipper. Somewhere, somewhere in the range of 33%. <laughs> Which I think means, I think means I'm due. I think means that this means I should be winning a ton of coin flips, right? Isn't that how that should work? Because... Uh, because I've flipped so badly for the rest of my life, I should flip really well tonight, and we should just go 5-0. Try, Ome. Oh, maybe our opponent's flipping coins. Maybe it's coin flip mirror. <laughs> the, new, the new hotness in modern. Eyelid. Go. Love the dice rolling deck. Oh my goodness. Oh, I didn't mention this. So, I was playing... <laughs> Oh, this, this, I didn't know whether I should be awed and excited or whether I should be salty. So I was playing standard 2022 on Arena today. Someone was playing a coin flip deck, except it wasn't like really dedicated to comboing. It was playing like when you win a coin flip or when you flip a coin, make a 1-1 one, one token and just like random janky coin flip cards that don't seem all that good. But, uh, but yeah, so I'm playing against them. They play a pixie guide. They play a Delina, they attack, and go truly infinite with a single pixie guy. Like, they got up to, they weren't going to stop. I eventually conceded after they got to 30. But from one, or yeah, dice, I'm sorry. I'm getting dice, dice rolling and coin flipping. But yeah, the dice, the dice rolling deck with a single pixie guide. That should not, that should not be possible. That should not, that should not happen. That was like the crim luck on, on Commander Clash with Usury. <laughs> Uh, hey Seth, I'm the person who built this deck. Nice to see you playing it here from Squatch Chief Shadow. Oh, awesome, uh, Marumi. I, I made a couple of tweaks, mostly adding more blood moons. 
I I I think the deck looked fun, but not enough not enough blood moons. <laughs> never never enough blood moons. <laughs> yeah, they went all the way. Like I don't know. <clears throat> Do you think that's good or bad? Like, is that healthy for magic? Ay ay ay. Eh, you know, let's sack this. See if we can draw. Well, all right. I guess this can block the Geist of St. Draft. We haven't found any of our coin flipping payoffs. I guess we found a usury. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Welcome to the MTG Goldfish channel, where your name is very likely to be butchered. <laughs> it's a, bad, a badge of honor. Oh, no. More Teferis. Okay. Opponent, Teferi. Bounces Tavern, Scoundrel. Sure. Hits us for six. With the Geist. Sure, sure, sure. Well, we will Lightning Bolt to Fairy. We will Dash Ragavan. Monkey in for. <laughs> Alright, Petty Thief. Monkey in for zero. Tavern Scoundrel. Well, at some point, we're just going to start flipping and hoping. We're gonna try to. We're gonna have to hope we hit with the stitch through time. Oh, let me see, Miramu. I think I'm getting closer with the pronunciation. I added more fire gambits too, actually. <laughs> fire gambit. I was like, if I were to play a coin flip deck, I'm playing four fire. I'm playing four fire gambits. Like that's that's one of the best coin flipping cards. You gotta just you gotta just spin it and see what happens. I did not get to odds and ends though. All right, down to nine opponent. Passes. More lightning bolts. Well, Ragavan. Dash it. We are quickly dying. Go to combat. Uh, I, yeah, we, I guess we could have redashed it, but I want to be able to block the Geist, and Ragavan's not very good at that. Riza! Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big super here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, opponent. Oh my god. Snapcaster for path. Hmm. Feels like a challenging coin flipping matchup. Opponent blocks. Oh yeah, blue white control might be might be tricky. Um well, alright, coin flip number one. Boom. Stitch in time. Who oh, 50 50! We need an extra turn or we're gonna be dead. Uh, Tails Never Fails, I think. Tails Never Fails. It's already begun! <laughs> it's already begun! Over, over one. Over, maybe instead of tracking our record, we should be tracking our coin flips with this deck. That might actually, that might actually make more sense. Well, grab a land. Opponent gets to play their flyer, beat us down. <laughs> I think maybe we track it instead of the actual record because the record might not be good. So we're over. We're over one. Tails always fails apparently. <laughs> About it. Three, seven, nine, dead. All right. Well, yeah. I mean, blue white control. That's what they do. Um. Well, force of negation and mystical disputes in. Uh, go down. Probably Prismari Command does not seem great. Maybe like a Snapcaster and a Tavern Scoundrel? Try it like that. You really need you really need the You really need the Carrick's Thumb. Like the Carrick's Thumb is what makes it much more possible. Play many Ponza Sun's AFR. I wanted to know if Froghemoth performs in the deck, because it feels like it would in this meta. Hmm. Um, I have not played Ponza Sun's AFR. I have not tried Froghemoth. I think Froghemoth seems like it could be fine. I feel like they have enough basics at Blood Moon. Maybe if we get it, like, turn two off of Ragavan. But I don't think we want to, like... Oh, no. Ooh. We have the thumb. We just don't have the lands. Oh, dear. Okay. Well. <laughs> we're going to keep this, and we're going to see what happens. We're going to have to get really lucky with these fiery gambits. <laughs> We're due! We're due! Thank you for the cheer, by the way. <laughs> Opponent.
prismatic ending. Sure. Well, we will Aragavan. Actually, you know what? Let's dash Aragavan. Untap land. Aragavan would dash. Get in the hit, get the treasure. Get rid of a prismatic ending, which is pretty good. Pass the turn. We're due. We're due for some good. We're due to. We're due to draw nine and untap all of our lands. Um. Well, uh. Dash Ragavan. Attack ya. Get a treasure. Pass the turn. Maybe we just dash the monkey all day. <laughs> Hey Seth, have you or any of the Goldfish crew played the new coin flip guy in Oh my Don't remind me, don't remind me. We have the new coin flip guy in our deck. Yes, it was played on Commander Clash. It was played a Commander Clash and Crim's luck. We were talking about my luck being bad. Crim's luck is insane. Crim played it. Crim played Usury. On Commander Clash, he ran it out like turn two or something off of his solar ring. He attacked with it, no character sum, no anything, and just casually won five flips in Omniscience and like won the game. <laughs> the game went on for many more turns, but his coin flipping was insane. Well, Ragavan. Counter spell. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna keep the monkey. We're gonna keep the monkey going. Get an island, Mystic Dispute, stop the counter spell. I uh, get in hit ya. Ooh, well, getting rid of better skills good. Um you can't play lands off Aragamon anyway. So so it doesn't really it doesn't really make a difference. You can cast the spells, so that means that means lands are not included because you don't cast lands. Yeah, the coin flip commander is sweet. Hugo Van! Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big soup to you over here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, tavern. Tavern scoundrel. Tavern scoundrel. Pass the turn. Opponent does not care about the Tavern Scoundrels. <laughs> not playing Tavern Scoundrel for setup the next turn feels savage. Upon it. Yeah, I don't know if we want to cash in all of our treasures. Teferi. We know there's a sort of fire and ice coming. The Toady back an elf. Welcome to the fishbowl. Bounces a tavern scoundrel. I mean, we're just not going to resolve anything in this matchup anyway. So that is that is a drawback. Uh, nothing nothing will resolve ever. Uh, fire gambit for our opponent to uh, counter. I presume. Come on, no counter. A little bit of luck. Actually, a lot of luck. <laughs> 13 weeks to your birthday, or 13 months, 2 weeks to your birthday. Oh, congratulations, Alf. Welcome back to the fishbowl. Big soup cheer for you. Opponent, please, no counters. Let it happen. <laughs> We're going to lose a... F oh, okay, okay. <sighs> so we got to win three in a row. We got to win three in a row. Last time, Tails failed us. Do we stick with Tails, chat, or do we go with heads? What do we, what do, we do? What do we do? What direction do we go? Come on, chat. Help. Heads, tail, heads? Okay. People want heads. All right. Well, it does nothing. I guess we'll play a Ragava. Whoever said heads. <laughs> I blame you. I blame you for that failure. <laughs> oh, for two. How is it possible to be bad at flipping coins? It's just 50-50. It's just 50-50. How is it possible? How can I, as a human being, be bad at flipping coins? I don't get it. Digitally, physically. <laughs> I mean, we got another one. At least if they sword and tap out, then... Ugh. All right. 
at least if they sword and tap out, we can attempt to fire a gambit and get it countered. I mean, this, yeah, gets and hits us. I mean, we're just super, super duper ultra dead. Ragavan, number two dies. Opponent. Passes. Well, we can dash a Ragavan. Archmage's Charm. Well, I mean, I guess we got a counter, but I think we're still just like... We're just dead. Oh, we can't even counter. That's right. There's a Teferi. Like, we're just... <clears throat> yeah. Sure. Uh... Well, let's at least put our coin flipping to the to the test. Boom. Sack of treasure. Flip a coin. Heads. Oh now now we now we win to get to get two treasures that don't do anything. <laughs> Alright, we're we're one we're one of three. <laughs> but the that almost shouldn't even count, because the what coin flip we won is one that was absolutely meaningless. And the and the two coin flips before that were incredibly meaningful. Like, nah, we were just dead. We were scooping no matter what happens there. Uh, Miramui. I mean, I actually did stats on it before. Last time we did stats, uh, it was like 33%. And that has held up over a whole bunch of... Over a whole bunch of, uh, like decks we've played since then too like go look go watch mirror march go watch the against the odds where we like actually calculated it i'm telling you i'm like a i'm like a 33 percent coin and that's what we are so far one out of three that's 33 percent. that's lifetime average right on par <laughs> but i still keep thinking like it can't keep happening we're about to get our lucky streak and we're just gonna like win five coin flips and win with usury is gonna be insane No, just, like, all coin flips. I mean, we counted that result, too. <laughs> it's a little disappointing that we won it because it, at a time that it was not helpful, but it's it's on the coin flip list. It's there. Got to practice. <laughs> that I, Maybe that's the problem. I'm just, I, I'm not practiced enough at coin flipping. <laughs> all right, this is the one. This I'm feeling it. This is the one. This is the one where we win all the flips. Oh, we even have a thumb? All right. This might be the coin flip nut draw. Ragavan into Kirk's thumb into counter spell. If the Ragavan lives, <laughs> I wonder if he win if this deck can win with flipping coins or if it just always wins with Ragavan. <laughs> all right. What do you got, opponent? Ooh, all right. It's a... Oh, Ornithopter. Oh, Ornithopter. Oh my god, Memnite. The natural... <sighs> the natural nemesis is of Aragavan, unfortunately. Well, now we get to trade the monkey with a zero mana artifact. <laughs> yeah. It's an artifact off the board, so that's something. Um, well, we will play Tavern Scoundrel. Go. Look out, opponent. <laughs> the Scoundrel is here. If winning with coin flips, Ragavad just there to have the opponent kill it instead of usury. Yeah, I, I mean, Ragavan does tend to, tend to eat removal. That's true. Well, opponent's gonna flood the board. We're gonna need to draw some some useries, some fiery gambits, those type kind of cards. Cause Affinity's gonna go super wide, and we don't really have an answer for it. Hey, what's up, uh, Bowser? Good to see ya. No, we just started like a half hour ago ish. You're you're on time. You mi you didn't miss much in the first match where we just got stomped by <laughs> by blue eye control. Emery, yeah, that's a, another good one. 
Okay, so that's a thought monitor coming back. Removal for Emery would be decent, too. Opponent passes. Nope. Play the land. Play the thumb. Sack a land. Yeah, I mean, I guess we can do it at instant speed. All right, yeah, we'll wait. Pass the turn. Well, we got the thumb down, so there's hope. We need to hit. We needed to pay off. We need to get a little lucky. What do you got about it? What do you? I wonder. Do you think they'll ever print more coin flipping payoffs? Like in just Adventures in the Forgotten Realms, dice rolling got two Carrick Thubs, the Barbarian class and Pixie Guide. Coin Flubby just has one legendary one. One legendary! I guess maybe maybe the problem with having too many Carrick Thubs is it does, like, since it's a 50-50 shot, <laughs> having extra flips does greatly shift the math compared to having to roll, like, a 15 or whatever, 15 or higher. Opponent going to get back a Springleaf Drum. Huga fan handing out five gift subs. Thank you so much to Trith, Doretti Spaghetti, FNR Silver, Jan Rabbit, and the Blevids. Welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big super for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Opponent. Cranial plating. Sure, sure. All right. Well, whew. if we lose both coin flips with this tavern scoundrel, that would be that would be brutal. All right, all right. We got a shot. We got a shot. Yeah, but Carrick isn't legal anywhere. I want like something that shifts the odds in my favor. There's other things that care about coins being flipped, but I want I want more Carrick's thumbs. But it might be too good. All right, heads. Okay. Wait. Uh. Okay, so we get two treasures. We win. Does that even count? So we flipped heads twice. So I guess that does count. Lightning bolt. So we can eyelet. Stitch in time. Flip a coin. Heads. Okay. It's easier with a thumb going. Extra turn. Make some treasures. We don't have anything to do with them, but we are making treasures. I don't know. Do these count, though, with the character's thumb? Because we're getting, we're getting multiple coin flips. So I'm not sure... I'm not sure how to do, count those as far as the math, because the math is a lot different compared to... I wonder if Rouse... Maybe Rouse Eric could be worth it in this deck. All right, so we got nothing. Uh, Sagan Islet. Come on! Okay. Uh, all right, another, another turn that doesn't do anything? I guess we can play Tavern... I guess we can play Tavern Swindler first. Boy, if we lose these flips, we gotta we gotta win this one. Tavern, we gotta win this. If we lose this, we just lose it all. We lose everything. We gotta win this stitch in time. We gotta win this stitch in time. If we if we lose this though, it's it's so devastating. We've won heads twice in a row. That probably means we gotta go tails, right? Heads twice in a row. Switch it up. Go tails. <gasps> oh, we will keep the tails. All right, all right, all right. We win the flip. Come on, payoff. Give us those. It's kind of, we're doing things. We're doing things. We're making treasures. We will sack a treasure. <laughs> sack a treasure. Flip a coin. Back to heads. Win the flip. Get, man, maybe we can have a treasure payoff. Come on. Something that works with coin... No. All right. Well, flooded strand. Crag flooded strand. Oh, we need a... 
We need a coin. I mean, we're flipping coins. We're just not doing anything. We're taking extra turns with no payoff. Well, all right. Kill your Emery. Pass the turn. <laughs> I mean, we want a bunch of flips. Oh, we don't have any payoffs. We don't have a U3. We don't have... Like, none of these things are the things that win us the game with flipping coins. Like, we flipped a bunch of coins, but these are just, like, the random support pieces. Not the cards that can actually can actually potentially win us the game. But yeah, an artifact payoff would be interesting. Gurper Ether Grid. That would work well with the try tap the character sum for damage too. <laughs> I don't know how to count those flips as wins or losses. I kinda think we gotta count the ones that are actual actual fifty percent to win. Oh, are we just dead? I kind of feel like we got to only count the ones that are actually 50% to win. And eh, maybe we should have countered that. That is kind of big. And we're not drawing payoffs. I mean, we can bolt the Ornithopter. We can chump the germ. So I think we're more concerned about dying to an Ornithopter. Uh, yeah, so bolt the Ornithopter. Well, come on. Coin flip and payoff. We're dead next turn. We need a real payoff. Come on, please. Please, real payoff. Tavern Scoundrel, Sack of Treasure. Heads. Get some treasures. We need some card draw or something. Like, we had all this mana. We just got nothing to do with it. Sag of Treasure. Heads. Keep the heads. Get some treasure. All right, deck. Please give us a real card. Or we're going to die to an Ornithopter. Ragavan does not really count here. All right. Well, we are officially dead. Yep, all right. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> oh, Snapcaster. Well, yeah, we're going to draw a U3 eventually, but not quick enough. Hmm. Well, a Braids can deal with artifacts, which is good. Blood Moon does nothing, which is bad. Run it like that. I don't think we've gotten a Tails Tails with them yet. Ooh, Magda could be interesting. Magda, Magda get a dragon. The problem is like, uh, the problem is, well, all right, we got a fire gambit. The problem is we only make treasures if we have Tavern Scoundrel going. So I'm not sure, that game it would have been great, but I'm not sure how consistent it'll actually end up being. Well, we got we got an actual payoff this time. We got a fiery gambit. I don't know what the odds are of it working out, but if it does work out, it is one of the we gotta win three coin flips to fully power it. But if we do, it is absolutely insane. Porn it owner and the thopters. Hey, what's up, Doug? How are you? Springleaf drum. Springleaf drum. Maybe we kill this ornithopter. Eh. One, two, three, four, five. Eh, get a steam bed's tapped. I guess it's probably better to kill something that actually matters. Well, all right. Play the land. Chance encounter is interesting. Tavern scoundrel. Go. I'm doing. I mean, we're not a. Uh, we're not winning coin flips too much, but I'm doing well, Doug. How are you? Perhaps this deck should include cards that do something. I mean, fiery like our cards do do something. We just didn't draw them the last game. Like fiery gambit, if we win our coin flips, is insane. Like it's actually ridiculous. It does require winning coin flips, but we're playing a coin flip deck. About it. Well, Mountain. Hmm. Uh, 
Plus is interesting. I want to thumb, flip, then kill the Emery with the treasures, but there is risk that thumb gets countered with this drum mana or that we lose the flip. Ooh, how is Adelis? I mean, I think, I mean, you don't play the thumb deck and not thumb. All right, so thumb down. Tavern Scoundrel. Sack of land. Yeah, we did win all of our flips once. Once, uh, once we got thumb going, which is pretty good. Get rid of the Emery. All right, pass the turn. Uh, counters uh, in Affinity. So Affinity doesn't typically have counters in their main deck, but there are sideboard counters that they could be running, like Spell Pierce, uh, Metallic Rebuke. <laughs> I mean, it kind of it gave us an extra mana that we used for the Lightning Bowl, so it, it was worth it. The nice thing about Tavern Scoundrel is it triggers whenever we uh, win a coin flip. So if we win, like, these Fire Gambit coin flips, for example... We would still get treasures off of them. All right, opponent. Thought monitor. Going to start the snowball. Is the coin flip win-loss counter up to date? That's for... It's up to date for uh, actual 50-50 coin flips. I haven't figured out how to try, how to try to count them with Carrick's Thumb because the math is a lot different. All right, opponent has a 9-2 flyer. Well, we really need this fire gambit to uh to succeed. Oh, all right. I mean, odds are not in favor of this one, but we got to go for it. Fire gambit, target ornithopter. Come on, come on, three in a row, please. Heads. We'll keep the heads. Oh, all right. So that one kills the ornithopter. I mean, we gotta keep going, right? There's no, there's no stopping. There's no stopping until we get to three. I mean, we gotta keep going. Ooh, heads or tails? Heads or tails? What are, what are we going for, chat? What are we going for? Tails never fails. Okay, that's two. We need one more. We need one more. Yes, we're continuing. What are we doing, chat? Heads or tails? This is a big one. This is this is for nine cards and our lands untapped. It, this is like the game. Always heads, always heads. Always. All right. I'll go with you, chat. Heads. That's okay. We can try again. We can try again. Uh. Heads always fails. Oh, dear. Well, at least we had the Tavern Scoundrel. So we can try again. We can try again. We learned not to pick heads. Heads heads always fails, apparently. Uh, boom. Ornithopter. Tails. We'll keep tails. Yes, we're going. Tails. We'll keep tails. Oh, we gotta switch it up. We gotta switch it up, I think. Yes, we'll keep going. Heads. Yes! Would we like to continue? No. For the love of God, no. Alright. Alright. Untap those lands. Give us a mana. Okay, we got there. We got there. We got there. Okay. Okay, we did it. We actually did it. Now. Now what do we... Now we just do whatever we want. One, two three four chance encounter one two three stitch in time come on where are we going heads or tails heads or tails heads are okay this now it's actually working heads or tails 
Winter Milan handing out the gift. Tails? We're going tails? Tails? Okay. Oh, heads we lost. That's okay. That's okay. We're still we're still okay. We can Tavern Scoundrel sack a land. We're gonna win this one. We gotta win this one. We're sticking with tails after the betrayal. We're sticking with tails. Winter Milan handing out gift subs to Zahelada, Skargmoth, Oath of Rafik, Hoofkids, and Batboss. Welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big tube over here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, tails. We win the flip. We get a luck counter. All right, and now we will pass the turn. We're in this game. We're in it. We're down to eight. But we have multiple removal spells in hand, so we're not going to die. Actually, and I think we... I think we... Eh, let's wait. The odds of them... <sighs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, they can cast anything anyway. I guess we wouldn't have to discard. We got lands to discard. Yeah, we'll just pass. Discard the Stevens. Well, that was that was better. That was better. What about Mana Clash for Janky Coin Flipping Burn? Mana Clash is so weird. That can flip a lot of coins. I mean, the other thing is we could always uh we could always make some changes to the deck. Uh and uh halfway through and if we would like to. Alright, opponent, cranial plating on Ornithopter. Or on Thought Monitor. Goes to combat. Attacks us. Well, we will. Destroy an artifact and. Actually, let's kill both of them. Two damage, destroy an artifact. Two damage to you, destroy you. Pretty pretty good Prismari command. Top top tier Prismari command there. Okay. Opponent passes. Oh! <gasps> That's a usury. That's a usury. That's a usury. Alright, play the land. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta go for it. We gotta go for it. Alright, sack a land. Zagaland, heads. We'll keep the heads. We'll get some treasures. We'll get a luck counter. We will play a usury, which is either going to win us this game or kill us. Pass the turn. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Give us the give us omniscience. Give us omniscience. Mirror March? Mirror March? It's so expensive for modern, but with the amount of treasures we're making, maybe it could be worth considering. Oh boy. No fear. No fear. Please don't kill us, Usury. We draw an island. We go to combat. We attack with Usury. We flip five coins. Uh. I mean, we're, flip we're flipping them all. We're flipping them all. Uh, heads. Huh? Choose heads or tails. The other exalt oh, heads, I guess. Heads. Heads. Okay, so we won some of them, but not all of them. <laughs> we do make a bunch of treasures. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> Odds and end for uh, coin flip counters. Odds and ends could be a cool uh, addition. Chance of dying here is like 0.4%. Well, we avoided the worst case then. And we did get a bunch of mana. I mean, this is this is fine, I think-ish. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. Now we play another tavern scoundrel. We just need more coin flip cards. We're going to have to stop usurying, though. Or we do risk dying. Yeah, I don't know what that was saying. Like, I'm... Oh! Oh! Coin flip! Coin flip one! I mean, 
the deck can kind of go off in a weird, really random, really scary, really risky way. But that was that was actually kind of decent. <laughs> what happened there? You got I. The way that was formatted was really really strange. I'm not exactly sure what it was saying, but the end result was we won three out of the five coin flips. Yeah, Kirk's other thumb is is legendary too. How does Kirk's thumb actually work? Basically, you flip if you have Kirk's thumb, you flip you flip two coins and you get to choose which one to keep. Hey, what's up, Squad Chief? <laughs> the deck <laughs> it does some interesting things. It uh it is <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's fun. It's definitely fun. Yeah, I, I don't understand what happens with usury. It just kind of says things, and I, then you win or you lose, I guess. We don't have a thumb, but we do have usury. And we got a braid, which is nice. And worst case, we <laughs> we can just fire off the fiery gambit and trust. <laughs> uh, Resism with a gift sub to Mr. Second Amendment 1776. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big stream for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> This deck doesn't seem to work without thumb. Yeah, I mean, it gets a lot worse if you don't have thumb. That's that is for sure because then you're actually just fifty fifty to win your your coin flip. Yeah, fun and funny is a is a. I mean, honestly, fun and funny is what made me want to play it when I saw you tweeting about it. <laughs> I I had no illusions that it was gonna be like a five O style deck, but <laughs> it is it is funny and the combo turns are actually pretty pretty spectacular. All right, cranial plating, but we have an answer about it. I'm gonna want us. Well, drawing these braids is helpful. Hey, Stone Rain, how you doing tonight? So, what other, what other coin flip cards can we put in this deck? If we do decide to rebuild in a, in a bit, like halfway through, what, what other coin flips do you want to see? They have to be modern legal, but otherwise. All right, so we draw land. Well, island, go. I think if they equip the Memnite, we'll kill it. Otherwise, we encounter, like, a Thought Monitor or something. Ralzyrek actually seems like a good one. Mirror March, ugh. Six mana is just, like, so much in modern. But it would be funny. Goblin... <laughs> Does Goblin Game require flipping coins <laughs> i think a goblin gave you hide objects whatever that means <laughs> i still i've won a game of commander with goblin it, it is on a commander clash episode you can actually find a win with goblin game i still do not know exactly how that card works though <laughs> all right so opponent's gonna equip sure goes to combat so i think we just kill the plating plating seems better than mem knight here so blow up the plating oh they do have counters all right metallic rebuke sure Well, flooded strand, crack flooded strand. Island. Prismari command. Prismari command is pretty insane against this deck. Two damage. Blow up your plating. And that's a lot of artifacts off the battlefield. Pass the turn. Can you use harmonic prodigy. Ooh. Do we have shaman? This isn't a free. What is a coin flipping dork? Is that a is that a shaman? Another bobble. Tavern swindler could be a cool option. Yeah, I I mostly added more blood moons, <laughs> and also more fire gambits. I feel like if you're flipping coins, you gotta have you gotta have max fire gambits. And then, of course, if you got an excuse to play four Blood Moons, I mean, I'm going to play four Blood Moons. <laughs> Even if it's wrong, I'm going to play four Blood Moons. Hmm. Uh, 
opponent cracks and cracks, gonna refuel, draws a bunch of cards. Land? Stitching, well, boom. Use three, no fear. <laughs> We came here to flip coins. We're not going to sit back on counters like a control deck. We're going to slam useries and see what happens. <laughs> we'll look. We'll look at. Uh, we'll look at the different coin flip cards in a uh, in a bit. Boom pile would be sweet in this deck. Actually, would it? It would blow up our thumb, which is awkward. Pony has an Emery. That's fine-ish. Mill some sagas. Memnite, that's definitely fine. Oh, all right. Tevard Swindler. I mean, do we just go for it? Do we just go for it and try to crim? I mean, we probably have to, right? Frenetic Sliver can flip a lot of coins. Unfortunately, it's not worded like Frenetic of Freeze, so you just go infinite and immediately flip any number of coins but we have a new donation from i mean i kind of want to just tavern swindler attack and if we die we die agk mark two dollar donation outside a circle of loyalty what are the top five eldering cards you will be sad to see leaving standard Ooh, that's actually a really good question with how much i have complained about eldering well all right you three be good be good be good All right, well, U3, number one. We're, I mean, you can't U3 and click one. Heads. Do we just omniscience? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> we just hit the omniscience! <laughs> Oh, in the dark, in the dark, no Kirk's thumb. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, okay. So if you win all five, you draw five cards, and then you get to omniscience for a turn, which uh, hopefully means we win this game. So yes, opponent, take your damage. Wow. That was absurd. That is the crim. That is exactly the crim. Oh, now we now we should definitely win. So we get to play uh yes, character sub. Chance encounter. That's what you're going to Oh, opponent. Oh wait, we got a counter spell, sure. Uh counter spell that. We want we want our thumb. So chance encounter. That's it. that is absurd. Tevard Scoundrel for free. Ragavad for free. Stitch in time. Heads. We'll keep the heads, take a turn. Get some triggers. <laughs> yes! Fiery Gambit, Fiery Gambit! Are odds on Fiery Gambit or 42%? Alright. I mean, we're going for it either way. Fiery Gambit. Heads. Yes, we will continue. Uh, heads. Yes, we will continue. I mean, it's worked so far. Heads? Yes. No, we will not continue. <laughs> Refuel. Get some counter. Oh my goodness, this is going off. This is going off. We're going off with the coin flip deck. <laughs> uh, we will. Uh, we will cast a fire gambit. Sure. Uh, let's go after your thought monitor. Heads. Oh, okay, fun's over. Stitch in time. Heads. We'll keep the heads. Get some triggers. 
Prismari Command. Loot, blow up Thought Monitor. Wait, for free. So many options. Loot, kill Thought Monitor. Discard a couple lands. Play a land. Crack the land, draw a card. Oh, all right, Snapcaster. Fiery Gambit. <laughs> Fiery Gambit. Uh, go after Mem Knight. This is the might be the greatest thing I've ever experienced in Magic, or on the short list at least. Uh, heads. Yes. Heads. Uh. Oh, we almost got to the chance encounter. So close. All right. Well. Uh, bolt your ornithopter. Extra turn. Go to combat. Attack with usury. Five. I don't even care what happens. We're getting the chance to counter win. We're doing it in modern. Heads. Heads. Ooh, that was a little painful. Okay. We're up to, what, six? Oh, that's not enough counters. Oh, no. Oh no. Eight. We gotta win these tavern scoundrels. We gotta win the tavern scoundrels. That's it. If we win the tavern scoundrels, we win on our last extra turn. I guess we can... We, we have a million treasure... We could be winning with Revelin Riches. Like, we have so much treasure mana, we can definitely eyelet. it. <laughs> <laughs> this game was so good. Yeah. Opponent takes two. Eyelet. Crack it. Draw a card. Looking for anything that flips coins. Well, all right. Uh, yeah, Tavern Scoundrel. Heads. Okay. One more. We need one more. It all comes down to this. Odds are in favor. Odds are in favor. We just need to win one more and we get the chance to counter win. It all comes down to this coin flip. All comes down to this. A flip of a coin for one of the greatest wins in modern history. <laughs> Heads. Oh, magic gods. Oh. Ultimate Betrayal. All right. Well, uh... Kill that. Oh, I really wanted the chance encounter win. <laughs> yeah, Thumb is legendary, so we can't play... We can't play multiples. Well, I guess we kill him the old-fashioned way. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Actually, this isn't even lethal, is it? This isn't lethal. I guess we could have killed him this way. All right, we're going to flip two. We're going to be ca careful here. Two. Heads. Heads. All right. That's fine. So we still get it. <laughs> it took an extra turn, but we got it. Oh! We can sack the treasures, but we don't have anything to sack them for. Like, what? what's the point of sacking the treasures? I mean, it just, it doesn't matter what we sack at this point. I think winning with zero lands is kind of funny. Oh, Ponus scoops it up. That was insane. <laughs> I guess, could probably not complain about... Coin flipping luck for a while after after the blind usury. Just no thumb, play it, attack with it, win all five, and then we... Like, look at how this ended. Like, look at what happened after that. Okay, that was, that was actually spectacular. <laughs> oh, that was... Okay, this... Okay, I will say, we're going to switch back to keeping track of the record since we actually won a game, a match. I will say, 
there's no I don't think there's any way that coin flipping is ever going to be competitive for a couple of reasons one is you're flipping coins the biggest one is there's only one character's thumb which uh which really hurts your consistency. If we had more, if we had, I, I get it now, Squad Chief. I really do. That was, that was, that was something. That was something else. That was something different than, I played a lot of Modern and played a lot of Jank Dags. And that was still really impressive. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think, I don't think it'll ever be real. But as we saw in that game, wow. When things go well, the deck can do some absurd things. Like, actually absurd. Not even, like, being hyperbolic or exaggerating. Like, that was ridiculous. That was just ridiculous. We need more thumbs. Like we have... Yeah, Tavern Scoundrel is actually huge for this deck. I kind of totally... Aw. I kind of totally glossed over this card. But the fact that it works with any coin flip is actually... That's a really big deal, which I didn't pay that much attention to. I mean, Monkey carries every deck. <laughs> Mirror Gallery for more thumbs. What we really need is another thumb. Like how we got Barbarian Class and Pixie Guide for Rolling Dice and Standard. The only problem is... Uh, I mentioned this earlier. I think the problem is... If you had non-legendary thumbs, I think the math would shift too heavily in favor of winning coin flips. Like, if you could play eight Carrick thumbs and they were non-legendary, like you can with, uh, with the dice rolling cards, I think it would just be too good. Because with dice rolling cards, wizards can make it so, like, you gotta hit a 20 of a 5% chance of getting the biggest reward. But with flipping a coin, it's just, it's always 50-50. Another legend would be interesting. And then maybe you could have, you could get two on the battlefield, but you're still gonna have the drawback of legend flooding sometimes. Ooh, Tavern Scoundrel. Good in the rock, just kidding. I was gonna say good in the Ragavan meta, but it, oh. <laughs> I really wanna just blind fire a gambit. What are the odds out of Fiery Gambit without having a thumb? It's got to be... We got to win three in a row. Not good. No fear? No fear? We're just going for it? Let's... Okay. Ugh. What about waiting one turn so we can not get hit by Ragavan? I mean, I guess, what are they, they going to do? Steal a... Steal, steal a... A character slum? That'll that'll be impressive. Uh, all right, yeah, let's do it. Boom, Ragavan. All right, chat. You're the one that told me to do it. You're the one that told me to do it. So tell me what to pick. Heads or tails? Heads or tails? Heads. Tails never fails. Tails never fails. I mean, <laughs> heads, your deads. <laughs> All right, Tails, you convinced me. Oh, Squad Chief. <laughs> I blame you on that one. <laughs> this is actually actually a fun deck to stream with because stuff is always happening. Even if, it's, <laughs> even if it's not good, there's always just something happening, which is... Oh, did I pick that? My, my bad, my bad. <laughs> oh, Heads, you're dead. Yeah, okay. I... <laughs> I, I obviously picked the wrong one. Alright, I cannot blame you for that then. Tarma Oh, our opponent's Junding? Sure. Sure. Oh, two Tarma Goyves. Yeah, Ragavan's a good card. Ooh, that would have been so good a turn ago. Well, now we don't got a choice because we are dying. So, uh, how much does this deal? Three damage, so it's Ragavan again. Alright. Alright, so Tails. I was supposed to pick Tails last time. Alright. Heads, you lost the flip. Huh. Well, we'll, we'll stick it in one more turn. <laughs> McIntyre! How is a coin flip like bad? Uh, overall, I think it hasn't been super good, but we did blind hit with a... We did blind hit with a, with a usury and win all five, so I cannot complain. Like, that, all by... Oh, they actually... They actually stole a real card. The odds of them hitting a real card out of our deck are so little, are so low. All right. Well, yeah. Wow, and it killed us. Talk about 
winning a coin flip. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right. Well, we're bringing more blood moons. We're on the we're on the Ragavan blood moon plan. Um, what are we cutting here? Prismari command can probably go. Prismari command. We gotta be able to answer Ragavan. Maybe like maybe let's go down two counters. Try it like that. Has never fails except the fifteenth percent of the time it fails. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Cut the moons. Moons are like pretty good against you unusually, unless I play around them. But they're good against unsuspecting Jund. Jund can build to play Moon, but I think being on the play, our easiest way to beat Jund is turn one Ragavan, get a treasure, turn two Blood Moon. Like that should just be, should just basically beat Jund. And that'll buy us a lot of time. I, the other thing I love about this deck is the secret of against odds, which we talked about before, is Blood Moon. Like, if you're going to try to run with really janky win conditions, you need cards that'll kind of, like, jank your opponent out to buy you time. So, and Blood Moon is, like, one of the best cards. Not in every matchup, but in the right matchup, Blood Moon can buy you a lot of time to, like, find your usuries and find your Kirk's Thumb and all that kind of stuff, so... <laughs> this deck's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm having a blast playing it, though. Like, it's been super fun. <laughs> and we even won a match with it. Oh, my goodness. Two fiery gambits. No thumb on the... <sighs> I don't think we can keep this. We just get Ragavan and Thought Seized out of the game. We really want a Ragavan. Ew. Hmm. Uh, one land. This hand has a lot of stuff we want. But also a risk that we just never draw land. Hell, this one, this one we're keeping. <laughs> so as good as it's gonna get, I think we put the two, the two coin flip cards to the bottom for now and just see what happens. I tried the dice roll deck today managed to roll into drawing the delina and pixie guide combo for a win heading over 55 pixies to get through my opponent's board before they scoop but they scoop before i got to the number Ooh, yeah i mentioned this earlier i lost to i lost to the dice rolling deck today against an opponent who had a single pixie guide <laughs> they had a single pixie guide and went uh and went full on infinite from one pixie guide which, that's, I guess it's more likely than winning five coin flips with Usury in the Dark, but that is still not all that likely. I think it's 14% to go all the way. Opponent. All right, their own Ragavan. Oh. Oh, it would be so good. Well, I mean, we're attacking. Don't block. Save your Ragavan. Of course they block. Well, Steam Vents untapped. Run out a Tavern Scoundrel. Go. Is it going to be a YouTube video? Oh, the... Oh, no. The loss? Probably. I think, it, I think it'll be coming up in an upcoming video. Opponent takes a Blood Moon. Well, in this case, we don't have to flip a coin. We can just... Man, I mean, just play the usury. They probably have Fatal Push or Bolt, but... <laughs> well, yeah, they do. Opponent cracks. Have you ever turned off Moto Animation? It makes Moto run so much smoother, faster. Some people just don't like the lack of animations. Uh, Wait, there's Moto Animations? What are the animations? I think I... Oh, this. Like the Swirl? Huh. I probably should turn them off. I guess I just haven't paid attention to them. I could not care. Ooh, wait. Are we going to get in this use free attack? I could not care at all about the animations. Like, I don't even think they look good. Well, here we go. Please don't kill it in response. Tavern Scoundrel. Go to combat. Are they slow? Don't. Okay. Well, um, attack you. Five. All five. Come on. Can we do it again? Can we do it again? Can we do it again? 
All five, please. I think we go tails this time. Well, last time we got all five with heads. Heads. Well, that's not as good as literally winning the game, but we will take it. Draw three, make an absurd number of treasures, and not die. <laughs> Good enough. Without having a character's thumb, we will definitely take winning three out of the three out of the five. Well, all right, yeah. And the two ether gusts are pretty good, and we can Ragavan next turn, and our mana is now essentially unlimited. Bottom gear disable animations. Oh, I've had dis uh, I've had foils disabled forever, but I didn't. Uh, I actually didn't realize there was a checkbox there for that. Thank you. User is ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. So how's the stream going, Squad Chief? We gonna play some Commander at some point? Upload it. Gets back catacombs. Sure. Wait, is this still an animation? What are the animations? Not this swirl, apparently, because that's still there. Liliana. Yeah, okay. I don't even think we want to ether gust a Bloodbraid Elf. Takes down. Well. Let's let's risk it. Yeah, okay, we lose a treasure. About it. Actually, we probably should put this on top, and then we can steal it with we can steal it with Ragavan, which is kind of hilarious. If they put it to the top. Okay, they do put it to the top. So, well, here we go. Ragavan, dash it. The number chosen, still five apparently on usury. <laughs> Attack you. Attack you. Five. Always five. Uh, heads or tails? Heads or tails? Where are we going? <laughs> Tails? Tails this time? We haven't tails in a minute. Alright, let's tails it. Oh! That's five! That should... That's twice! Okay. Uh, yeah, that should not be happening so often. Is there a bug? How is that happening? That's like a two percenter! <laughs> <laughs> That's like a two percenter and we fit it twice. Steal your blood braid elf. Play the land. Chance encounter. Tavern scoundrel. Blood braid elf. I really hope we hit the stitch in time. Oh. Blood Moon. Okay, that's that's not the worst. And opponent's done! Oh! <laughs> oh! John can't... <laughs> Poor John! Oh, we always make fun of John. But this might be the most humiliating loss John has ever suffered. We beat John with some... Uh, <laughs> some pretty off-the-wall against odds decks, but... Losing to blind flipping five coins... <laughs> with... <laughs> with user is insane. It does seem unlikely. And also, I don't know how many of you saw the Commander Clash from like I don't know, right after right after MH2 came out, where Krim played U3. I don't remember exactly how many times he attacked, but Krim got the triple win three times, and I think most of those were also in the blind. I think he got a thumb eventually, but I know, I know the first one at least. He just blind flipped. Maybe there is some weirdness where, where uh, 
where it's easier to hit five in a row than it should be. Or maybe it's small sample size. Like, we've only, what, used to read, like, four times, so obviously we're running super hot, but hitting something that's a low percent chance um, twice out of, like, four or five times isn't isn't really definitive. I mean, it's definitely pop. M there's always been rumors about motos, like scry bugs and card orders, so... It wouldn't, it wouldn't shock me if there was some weirdness once in a while. Also true that I've, <laughs> that I've lost a lot of coin flips. And traditional, we talked about at the beginning of the stream that maybe we were due for some good luck because our percentages. So we got to like regress to the mean eventually because it's impossible to be a 30%, 33% coin flipper, I don't think, for your whole life. So we're, we're due. We're due to eventually... <laughs> even it out a little bit. Opponents going to five. They are petrified. They are petrified of the coin flip deck. Oh, I hope this is Raghavan, because we have the answer for days. It is not Raghavan. Inquisition. Opponent playing around the Blood Moons. Well, we will play a Scalding Tart. Go. Yeah, I used three too good. Breaking it. It's broken. Move over Urza Saga. Move over Raghavan. <laughs> the new brokenness. Oh, come on now. Who mulls to five and keeps multiple thought seizes? <laughs> Does not seem like a... Well, I don't know. Sure. Takes the usury. Blood Crypt tapped. Well, thin the deck. We are out of coin flip payoffs at the moment, thanks to... Ooh, that's decent. Thanks to all the discard over there. Opponent plays a land passes. Scalding Tarn crack it. Steam vents tapped. Untap. Fiery Gambit. I think we're going to wait for now. So much better once we find a thumb. And I want to leave up Counterspell anyway. We have a new donation from Lucid. To oh. Oh. We're going to. Ooh, we're going to keep waiting. Oh, my goodness. Do we just run it out? What's the worst thing they can do? They can blow it up. Oh, it'd be so nice if we could leave up the counterspell protection. We're going to wait. We're going to wait. Play a patient. We got what we need. We got what we need. Lose it. Do dollar donation. Hey, Seth, do you know what Tarmagachi is? And if so, what should I name mine? Um, I assume it's a ha related to Tarmogoyf in some way. All right, well, this, we probably need to stop. So counter the Tarmogoyf. Opponent gets a Blood Braid. Bolt the Blood Braid. Untap. Dash Ragafon. All right, opponent's last card is out of hand to kill the Ragafon, presumably. Okay, opponent's out of cards. No whammies, no whammies. Let us get the thumb down. Mishra's Bobble, sure. Opponent cracks it. Passes, draws. Ooh. Oh, okay, usury, go. That's even better than we can thumb next turn. Tarmaguchi is an X-Men? <laughs> Uh, thumb. Combat. We're so good at winning it without having thumb. Maybe we should not have played the thumb. Attack. Where are we going, chat? Where are we going? Heads or tails? Heads or tails? I mean, we're going five. That's for sure. Heads, heads, tails never fails, heads, tails, heads. I'm thinking I'm seeing more heads this time. We're going to go heads. Ouch. Wow, that was not good. See, we're better off. We got to get rid of the thumb. We need to find a... We need to find some uh, artifact destruction to get rid of this thumb, which is lowering our odds of winning our usury flips. <laughs> Well, okay. We're going to do it again. 
No fear. You three. Five. Ugh, heads. It can't be that bad again. Choose heads or tails. Flipped a tail so far. Flipped a heads and a tail so far. Flipped two heads and a... What is going on? Okay. I do not really understand the formatting of usury on here. Well, play a scoundrel. Well, at least we got mana production. We might die to our usury. We're worse with the thumb out. <laughs> Mistress Bobble. Sure. Are we going five again? Are we risking it? We drew the scoundrel off of the usury. Oh, uh, it. Draws a card. Fear or no fear? You know, we can start with... Let's start with Fiery Gambit. Oh, that's awkward. All right, let's not start. We got to... We got to target a creature. Uh, all right. U3. No fear. If we lose to our own U3, we lose. We shouldn't. But we're not going heads anymore. Heads has been betraying us. I think, I think we got to go tails. Oh, three tails so far. Heads? Heads? Oh, we shouldn't have switched. We should not have switched. We should have stuck with the tails. Hit ya. I mean, we do just win, but we are also going to Fiery Gambit because, I mean, heads. Keep the heads. Yes, keep going. Heads. Keep the heads. Heads. Keep the heads. No. Ha! That's exact season with Fiery Gambit. <laughs> well, you lost your flips wait we lost our flips on purpose we beat jund we're don't look now but we are technically two and one man if we feed the children and get a treasure chest out of this deck that might be one of the best things to happen in modern ever Apparently, Jun can't beat the coin flip deck. Well, a quick reminder before we continue to flip coins that our sponsor today is Card Kingdom. And if uh, you need a Carrick Summer, a history of your own, or any of these other cards, D&D stuff, whatever, you can get them at CardKingdom.com. Oh, poor Jun. Wait, so how did I... You lose your usury flips by clicking the wrong thing. I don't think so. Did did I? The way it's the way that it's formatted is very strange. If I was reading it right, it was like, okay, you click heads, and then it said one you've won one head so far, click heads or tails. Maybe I was misunderstanding what it was. Oh, so the pop-up is not for use three, you don't think. The pop-up, you think, is just thumb? Oh. I was thinking that was use three, asking, like, okay, you flipped three coins so far. Do you want to switch it up and go to, like, tails instead of heads or whatever? All right, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I guess I probably did mess it up then. I was just misunderstanding what it was what it was asking. Well, we got a, we got a monkey. This hand looks kind of real. Ether vial. Sure. Well, steam vents. Untapped. Monkey. These Prismari commands might do some work in this matchup. Opponent. Untaps. Yeah, it's very... the. I mean, it's Moto. The Moto interface is not always all that intuitive. It does some things very well, but... Being intuitive is not necessarily one of them. Oh, no. See if they got a one drop. I mean, if they don't have a one drop, we do get in this Ragavan hit, which would be sweet. Wow. Okay. Well, 
They really don't want this Ragavan around, I guess. Sure. Well, I think we will accept our opponent. <laughs> Two for wanting themselves to kill our Ragavan. Uh, bolt your stone forge. Pass the turn. Opponent. <laughs> oh well, my arm mew, my arm mew. Uh, definitely, definitely appreciate uh your your contributions to the archetype. I like some of the additions too, like the the newer build you showed me with like odds and end. Definitely look pretty sweet. That's not a land. All right. Um. Hmm. Boy. I mean, we gotta run stuff out. If we get got by Arbiter and get Ghost Quarter, that's gonna be kind of brutal here. But I don't think we can not do anything. Plus, Tavern Scoundrel can coin flip our way out of this mana issue. Why are they s okay? Sacking to draw a card. Looking for the Arbiter. Well, pass the turn. Please lands. Opponent. Oh, no. Oh, Thalia. Okay. I mean, Thalia is still obnoxious, but kind of surprised they're sacking lands when we know they got Batter Skull, but. Do you have discounts for Car Kingdom, or do you just promote? So, oh, they do have the Arbiter. Oh, that's real bad. Oh, dear. And we draw the Flooded Strand. Hmm. Well, that is super awkward. I'll play for okay. I think what this is kind of funny. We got to pay for Arbiter. Pay for Arbiter. Flooded Strand. Crack Flooded Strand. Get an Island, and if our opponent attacks a land, we can at least sack it to Tavern Swindler and hope to get lucky. That's that's something. Oh no. Oh. Yeah, we're it. we're in serious trouble. Serious trouble. There are no coin flip lands. Uh so Card Kingdom, they sponsor the show, but there is not currently any uh discount by using the goldfish link or anything. You can get a goldfish token if you tell me you want one. That's a, a perk. But uh but yeah, there's not a there's not currently any discount thing that I'm aware of. Opponent, yeah, goes quarters. We draw counter spell, not especially good. Tavern scoundrel, go. About it. Why are they? Why are they gonna try to violin your batter skull? Why? Why are they putting this up to four? Five. They just give up. What is? They're gonna. No way. Solid. <laughs> Gee. <laughs> All right. Shirt. 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 Well, that was not a game. Nesmith. Ah, that does not seem worth it to me. But I guess maybe they felt like they had us so pinched on mana that they just. They would just win if they killed the next creature, and it worked out that way. That, I mean, that's the only thing in your entire deck, though, that works. Ned Smith for the 55th month. AFR has been my favorite draft form I've had the pleasure of drafting in a long time. Only wish wizards hadn't been so stiff with venturing to dungeon. Didn't know that you had to have a legendary creature to activate. Uh, did you know? I didn't know they had to have a legendary creature to activate dungeon. Does that? Yeah, that, that card is one of the literal worst cards that that is worst lands that have ever been printed i think there's actually like a pretty realistic argument that it's the worst rare land in the last 20 years i think if you go back to the early days there were some pretty questionable rare lands but i think the dungeon descent is like on par with them it's so bad Oh yeah, I mean, even if we win these, lose these last two, the last two games were so spectacular. Plus, we beat Jund, so even if we end up going two and three, which I'd be perfectly fine with, I, I will consider this deck a huge success. Sorrow's Path is one of those old lands that I think is <laughs> is in the same tier as Dungeon Descent. Wizards must have been. Oh, we're gonna keep this. 
Hopefully we hit lands. Wizards must have been really, really afraid of dungeons being too good. Like, that's the only thing that makes sense. Like, here's my guess. My guess is, it was a... I think... Uh, correct me if I'm wrong on this, but it sounded like initially it was going to be a core set, and making it a and d set was, like, kind of a late-ish change. So my guess is maybe they didn't have as much time as normal to... to make mechanics like dungeons and again this is my speculation if i'm wrong correct me that's uh, that's fine but maybe they didn't have as much time as normal to make this at and dungeons does look a bit like energy and other parasitic mechanics that have been problematic in the past so i don't think it is i don't think it is unreasonable for wizards to go very cautious with dungeons especially if they were actually on a shorter than normal time frame opponent thalia oh dear yes yeah, feels like we, we need a land for usury and then we need it not to die land please well we do get the land all right well land crack it island usury thalia is actually kind of good against us isn't it all right. Live, you three, live. <laughs> you three might be one of my new favorite cards. <laughs> it, uh... <laughs> It does things. You never know what, but something's going to happen when you attack with a usury. You might die. You might have omniscience. No one knows. And that's part of what makes it <laughs> super fun. I gotta imagine the Sorrow's Path, the 65 people who did play it, it had to be a mistake, or some sort of troll or meme. There's no way. Alright, Skyclaim Ambition, boo. Oh, a land would be the best. So good. Please, please, please. Untap land. Counterspell is not the best. Kind of the opposite of the best. Oh, we needed... I would have taken eight damage and draw one card with that usury, given the given the choice. Stoneforge Mystic. Our hand is full of things that cost three. Calder Complete. Yeah, I mean... Well, this one went quickly. Saros Path is probably in a Zedru deck with Icy Manipulator or something. Yeah, I guess that'd be kind of funny. Huh, we need to draw we need to draw that last land. Like, missing that land drop combined with this Thalia is just that is what got us here. Like if we had hit the land drop, we had a pretty decent shot. Because we could have at least killed like Stoneforge and Aether Vial or something. But meh. Opponent passes. Yeah, another three drop. Well, yeah, taxes are good when you miss your land drops, that's for sure. Well, it comes down to this. Uh, win or lose, I think the deck was a success. But uh, it comes down to this as far as the treasure. Why not Snapcaster block? Yeah, I guess we probably should have. I think we were just not winning that game once we lost the land drop like once caldera complete comes down uh, we don't really have a any chance of winning so i think probably technically correct i guess to black with snapcaster but i think we we're committed to scooping at that point no matter what happens i just broke it i broke i go through the you should see i'll have to show you my closet sometime I have to show you my closet. It's a it's a headset graveyard. I love these headsets. I swear by these headsets. But they're out of print now. They're on the, the headset reserve list. So they're not easy to find. And to get them new, they're insanely expensive now. You can find used ones sometimes. And I try to pick them up when I find them. Because I just... I love these headsets. I've used them for years. They sound really good. The problem is... They have like a weak spot... They have like a weak spot right here above where the ear, uh, like the headphones connect to the top piece. Every single one, when they eventually break, that's where they break. They like sit on my desk and they get, 
Oh, everyone, you can't hear me. <laughs> everyone has a weak spot right there where the earpiece connects to the top piece. And and every single one of them that's how they end up breaking. They they get knocked a little bit too much or they drop them and that's the spot where they break. So when that happens, I usually end up taping them together until I can find another one. <laughs> I currently do not have a backup, so... I currently do not have a backup, so, uh, yeah. But I'll get a, I'll get another one. Hopefully. Hopefully soon. Oh, you could hear me the whole time? Chat. Chat, 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 chat. Well, playing land. We got the, the use Meister. Could be pretty good here. Here's my dungeon deck for 2022. Played it to Mythic in the uh, Insight and in the Insight Esports tournament. Deck is good. But best in one is rough on true mid range. That is true. Best of one. This is the most best of one. Are we just running this out to its very. Yeah, let's wait. Um, best of one. The most I've played has been standard 2022. And as long as arenas come up. And I've been pretty anti best of one the whole time. For me, like obviously, if it's what you love, that's that's great. It's I don't think it's changed my opinion of best of one. I maybe it's not as bad as I. Maybe it's not as bad as I initially gave it credit for. Coiling Oracle. Hmm. Is this desperate to hit a land? Or is this... Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I do have an external mic. The thing I... So the thing that I haven't figured out with the external mic... So I actually have a really... A really nice external mic and a headset. The reason that I don't use it for streams is I haven't really figured out. I move around a lot, and that's the that's the concern I have with the external mic. Is well, they have the land anyway. Uh, well, crack float is dread. The problem is moving around, and uh, it gets louder and quieter based on based on how close you are to the mic. So for streams, I don't really want to like have to sit with my mouth right up to the mic the whole time. But uh I don't know. Tell me how I I I actually like switch it over with a click of a button. But tell tell me. me. Hello, hello. Do I sound better? What which mic which mic do you think uh which mic do you think is is the best? I mean, maybe it doesn't matter. Like maybe can you hear me fine? I've never really tried it. I've never really tried it for streams. Like, can you hear me fine now? Can you hear me fine? Can you hear me fine now? Can you still hear me fine now? Like, if you can still hear me when I'm moving around, then... Then, uh... Then maybe I'll just switch to, uh... Then maybe I'll just switch to that. I think I gotta get, like, a... Like, a... Amp or something... I think one of the issues, Tomer got the same mic as me, because it's actually, like, it's actually a pretty solid mic, I think. Uh, so, Tomer ended up getting the same one. He said he had to get a, some sort of, a, some sort of amplifier that, well, I don't have a counter, uh, that could make it louder. So, I might have to pick up, a, pick up an amplifier. But the mic quality is, like, very, a preamp, yeah. The mic quality is, like, very good. I actually got this for like recording music initially was my thinking, but it also is a uh, is great for doing stuff like this. I just like to move around too much, so I gotta I gotta look into the preamp thing. But do you think the do you think the actual sound is this rhinos? Oh, gross spiral. Do you think the actual sound quality is better? Opponent. I think Tomer sucks at setting up his mic. That's my guess. Because I think the mic's good. Because it's... He bought, I believe, the same exact mic I did. 
Like, I bought this mic, and then I believe he bought the same exact one. Like, literally the same exact mic. Better sound quality, but more variants. Yeah, I mean, that's... I use it for, like, Commander Clash in podcasts and other things like that. I usually use the... Oh. Well, I mean, I'm glad you're doing spicy stuff, opponent, but there's no way I'm going to let you in tap with that. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Please, no. Oh, come on now. Opponent ruins our day with a fury we want to do cool things and our opponent is not a not a fan of cool things and we are also viciously viciously flooding out you know scalding tarts in the deck <sighs> both mics at once that's probably that's probably not a <laughs> ideal solution But yeah, so anyway, maybe I'll get that mic going at some point for streams. Opponent, Ren and Six. They got a handful of them. Oh, Usury is a bit fra- <sighs> Maybe we should have let him resolve the song of creation. I have literally no idea what our opponent's deck's doing. This is a combination of cards that I have never seen anyone play before in Modern. No idea. Opponent hits us. Tavern Scoundrel. I will play it past the turd. Oh, this is a coin flipping deck. Oh, Bard Class is coming. Don't worry. Bard Class. Bard Class can do some absurd things. Yeah, if we can win this match, we could finish with a winning record. Which would be pretty spicy. We really need that usury. This game is not going especially well at the moment. Opponent. Oh boy. Heart. So are they trying to combo? I I don't know. I don't know. Uh, well, so I think we got to draw... Something that flips coins and gets super lucky. Opponent bangs us. Blood Moon actually would probably be pretty good against our opponent's deck, but a little late to the party. All right. Well, now we got to win two in a row. Do I prefer flipping coins or rolling dice? Um. Hmm. It's a good question. I feel like I feel like coin flipping has more interesting stuff. Like I don't know if there's the equivalent of like fiery gambit. Most of the all of the coin flipping cards that Wizards made felt pretty safe to me where even if you get the like what's a what are some let's let's look at the dice rolling cards. Like, I feel like all of the the dice rolling cards are actually, and probably, this is probably a good thing for competitive play, but the variance is not very high. Like, the best dice rolling cards are maybe, like, treasure chest, where rolling a 20 can be a bad thing in some decks, or, like, deck of many things. Your best roll is strong, but it's not... It's not as strong as the dice rolling uh, or as the coin flipping cards. And a lot of them are pretty, like, meh. Like, sure, drawing three is better than drawing two, but it's not that high variance. Coin flipping. Coin flipping ranges from, like, <laughs> kill you to omniscience and win the game. Or, like, do nothing to kill something, six your opponent, draw nine cards on tap all your lads. So I feel like it's kind of too low variants, if that makes sense. But yeah, I mean, I think they're both fun. And I should say a million percent, like, from a perspective of competitive play, we don't want Standard to be 
I don't think we want... I don't know if we'd want this deck to be in standard, or at least be good in standard. It could be like a janky against odds deck, but I don't think you actually want these super high variant strategies to be competitive. You want to mold it? I really like Ragavan though. Ragavan's just so good. Hit ya. Well, get a treasure, steal the blood braid. Tavern Scoundrel. Go. Opponent. Fury. Wrath your board. Snow Governed Mountain. And. Wow. Just a brush fire. Okay. And staying aggressive. Interesting. They must have Fury. No Fury. Okay. Huh. I'll go to combat. Play the land. Go attacking. Wow, we could really use... A Carrick's Thumb with this hand would be so good. Ragavan. Hit ya. Steal us something good. Alright. Land. Well, Tavern Scoundrel. Crag the Land. Snow Covered Mountain. Tavern Scoundrel. We're going to set up for the luck turn next turn. <laughs> We're going to set up for the luck turn where if we could get lucky and win some coin flips, it might be insane. This is a, a hypergeometric calculator shirt. <laughs> oh. Hey. Thanks, uh, Electro Tall. I mean, oh, come on now. <clears throat> What's up, Shivan? How are you, by the way? <sighs> this guy just has random cards. Like, how can you. <laughs> how can you even play. Like,. What is going on with our opponent's stack? It's just random cards. It's literally just random cards. Uh, okay, sure. Sure, you echoing truth to us. Opponent passes. Well, we will attack with Ragavan. Opponent's gonna block. Why would you even bring in echoing truth against our deck? I'm so confused. Well, a uh, tavern scoundrel and Tavern Scoundrel and pass the turn Dog of Myth with the gift sub to Electrotail welcome to the fishbowl thank you so much for your subscription big super here thank you thank you thank you Shardless Agent and a brush okay well it's uh, not rhinos so we will accept it about it Goes attacking. Passes. I mean, we gotta, we gotta go for it. Usury. Please, one time, no answer. Pass the turn. About it. Hold, hold. Wait, what are we getting? What are we getting butted for now? Not even good against treasures, because you need to sack a treasure. Constructs make some amount of sense. <laughs> oh, well, opponent's playing their version of coin flipping, and uh, I guess it's kind of working out for them. Counter spell. Well, all right. Sure. Go to combat. Attack with U3. <laughs> Roll five. Eh, I mean, it's a coin flip deck. Who knows what happens? Wow, that was so close to being good. 
So close to being what we wanted. Okay. So, I mean, that was still fine. How do we not die, is the question. So we play... Tavern Scoundrel. We play... Tavern Scoundrel. We play... Kark's Thumb. We stitch in time. This is a huge coin flip. This is potentially a game determining coin flip. Stitch in time. What are we picking, chat? You gotta make the decision. You gotta make the decision. I don't want responsibility for this one. Heads or tails? This is basically the game on a coin flip with the thumb out. Heads? We're going heads? Uh, that's a lot of heads. Uh-oh, there's some tails coming in. Mostly heads. All right. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay, we won the flip. We get the extra turn. We get to make some treasures. We get to... I guess play a Raghavan. Play a Steam Vents. Untap. Well, here we go. We're rolling five. <laughs> Ride or die with usury. Heads? <gasps> Omniscience! 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 And a million treasures? Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Oh my goodness, we're gonna get there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, that's our third omniscience. Hit ya. <laughs> About it. Well, uh, yeah, we will target brush fire elemental. Heads. Oh my god, tails you lost, okay. Uh, we will target brush fire elemental. Sticking with heads. Tails you lost. Awkward. Well, snapcaster mage. For stitch in time. Stitch in time. Heads. Oh! Wow. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, sack the eyelet. Draw a thumb. Yikes. Eyelet. Sack it. Land. This is a big problem. That's a lot of damage. Well, uh, pass the pass the turn. We got so lucky and then so unlucky all all at once. <laughs> We got lucky to win with Usury, and then we just went stone. Stone nothing. Ren and six. Now oh, we're going to counter that. We do not want our opponent getting a land. Well, they don't even have a land, but we're still going to counter it. Opponent scoops it up. We're still alive. We're still alive. It all comes down to this game. We already had a we already had a usury. We could have cast another one just to have We could have cast another one to have it untapped, but usury's legendary, so so we already had we already had one going. I have no idea what our opponent's next up to. We learned there's a bunch of echoing truce now. They're cascading, but they're cascading into fair stuff not rhinos <laughs> the 
The only problem is, yeah, like, some sort of treasure payoff would be interesting. The only problem is, we don't actually make treasures unless we have Tavern Scoundrel. Like, that's the only treasure slash artifact card in the deck. I mean, I guess Carrigsum is an artifact, but if we don't have Tavern Scoundrel, then we're not making treasures. So, I don't know how consistent it would be, but how does the deck win? Uh, hopefully by... <laughs> I mean, chance encounter is one way you could win. If you can win 10 coin flips and get to your upkeep, you win. Usury, just drawing a ton of cards and hitting for damage can win. Fiery Gambit can deal a ton of damage. Basically, beard hair. Uh, basically, it has, it, it kind of has these weird combo turns built around getting lucky with the coin flips, essentially. I mean, usually it doesn't, is probably too harsh we're we're two and two and we're close in this one like win or lose it seems like a deck that can actually win maybe almost 50 percent of the time I, that i mean i don't think it's like you know it's not a super duper top tier competitive deck but it's not like it just does nothing and gets crushed constantly it actually does seem like it can compete huh blood moon do we want blood moon I mean, also Monkey. Like, Ragavan can just win by itself. An X-Spell could be interesting. To take advantage of all the treasures. Something like ah, Beanfire or whatever Devil's Play isn't that far away from being... Well, I guess it's kind of far away. But maybe you play whatever the most efficient X-Spell is that you can play as an actual removal spell. And then also have a treasure payoff. I don't know if it's necessary, but it could be sweet. Let's go up. Well, we're on the draw. Yeah, run it back. Run it back, run it back. Expos won't work with you three. That's true, but they... Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, we'll see what happens. We're going to keep. The sand looks reasonable. Pwn it. Misty Rainforest passes. Now Scalding Tarn. Crack Scalding Tarn. Grab a mountain. Monkey, monkey, go. Opponent cracks. Tap land. I mean, Ragavan hitting to Blood Moon could be a thing. Tap land. Opponent. Passes. I don't go to combat. Ragavan. Oh my goodness, hit you. Steal a Phoenix of Ash. Okay, and a uh, Blood Moon. Ragavan's like our monkey replacement with uh, with Simeon Spirit Guide God. That's our best way to get down a quick Blood Moon. If this resolves, it might just be game. We got a new donation from Lucid. $3 donation. Seth, what do you think is uh, the most competitive jank deck you've ever built? Oh, geez. There's been a few decks from, like, Against the Odds over the years that have actually become, like, real-ish. Uh, or even, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, we might win this. Real-ish, uh, like, Gideon Tribal, Black White Gideons, was actually, like, a thing at one point that was kind of good, and that started on against the odds. So that would be that would be one I would think of. I don't think we created the deck, but there's a lot of decks that we were very... Like, ha I guess Hammer Time would probably be another one. I, I gotta go back and, like... Look at the history of that. I'm not sure if we were, like, the absolute first person. That's the part that's, like, hard to sort out with some of the decks is, were we the absolute, like, first person to ever play it? Or did we mostly, like, play a role in... We played it really early and popularized it. I know, like, Hollow One is one where we played it really early and definitely had a role in popularizing it, but I don't... We definitely weren't the first person to play it. Hammer Time! That might have started at Budget Magic. I'm sure there are people who, like, had a deck list of it, but I think that Budget Magic is what kind of made it uh, into a thing. So that would probably be one of the, one of the big ones, too. Although it's obviously, like... 
adapted a lot over the years from when it started because it started as a budget deck and ended up being one of the best decks at one time yeah hammer hammer time is still like a legit top tier deck i mean i think i don't know if it's a jank deck but also one that i'm like very confident that i was responsible for and it's not as good now unfortunately but mono red prison slash free run red like in modern was that was my pet deck that went back to a, a much a brew episode and actually at various times was also a top tier deck it's not good right now but that's one of the ones that i'm personally probably most proud of if that makes sense just because it's like one of my favorites you know play the land i guess we play this brush fire Pass the turn. We're going to get a treasure chest. We're going to get a treasure chest. I think we're going to get a treasure chest. Opponent draws their basic. It's a mountain. Sadly. Plays a fury. We will counterspell it. Oh! Winning record with you three. <laughs> we did it. We did it. We actually, really, truly fed the kids, got a winning record with usury coin flips. <laughs> oh, this deck was this deck was so much fun. This deck was so much fun. Well, we got a treasure chest to open, and then we look at other coin flip cards and talk about what else we could do with this deck. We got a new donation. Dan Wildfire. Hey, dog. How are you? $2 donation. Hey, sorry I was driving earlier, so I couldn't respond. I had Atlas, uh, Atlas and Viran on board at the same time, cast two cantrips, and swung out for 16 damage, a pair, normally two twos. Deck was just a rough draft, but I now know what to add. Ooh. Yeah, Atlas and Viran. Viran is uh, definitely a frightening... Wow, I haven't seen these on Moto yet. This is what the This is what the dungeons look like. Eh. Well, I guess it looks fine. Uh that's how that sounds sweet, Doug. Alright, treasure chest. One of one, which is one more than I was expecting out of <laughs> out of rolling dice. Can we win another die roll? Not really. Dalicos! Not a very good card. Not even... This is a legend that doesn't even really see commander play. This is just kind of a overall dud for the most part. Uh, play points are always good, though. What other... What other coin... What other coin flip cards exist in modern? Is there anything... Is there anything we're missing? There's obviously a few old legacy ones, and there's some jank. Uh, new donation! My... My, oh, I'm going to say your name wrong again. Maya, Maya, Ra, Miu. Hopefully I'm still not butchering you. Too bad. $2 donation. I'm so happy. Thank you so much for playing my deck, Seth. Was fun. A fun 3-2 to watch. It was a blasted. Maya, Miu, thank you uh, for for designing the original build of the deck and, uh, and sharing it with Squatchy for however that happened because I had a I had a ton of fun playing this deck. This was, this was just super fun. It... <laughs> It's fun. It's just fun. Like random stuff happens. Who knows? But I I had a blast playing it. So what other card and thank you for the donation, by the way. Are there any other cards that could be worth including? And in is it coin flip deck in modern? Let's uh and then we can probably get in some games with combo zombies, although I don't know if we'll get in a whole league with them, probably. Uh so So what underperformed and overperformed? I think the most shocking card to me was Tavern Scoundrel. Like, Tavern Scoundrel, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, it's a random, it's just a random coin flip card. But the fact that it triggers on any coin flip you win makes it essential to the deck. So that was a big overperformer. Fire Gambit was huge. Stitch in Time is fine, and it is nice with the combo turns. Chance Encounter, I don't know if it's actually worth it or necessary, but it is fun and against odds flavored. U3, obviously a staple. Karakstum, you can't cut. Ragavan is just broken, so I don't think you can really get rid of it so there isn't a ton of room but what stuff would we possibly want to add so we got usury rakdos kind of funny it does flip a lot of coins and it is kind of an intriguing way to get enough uh counters on chance encounter or to trigger taverns counter a bunch of times but it's six mana and 
I don't know. Maybe I could see trying to play it in the sideboard, but I think it's too much. Rouse Eric is kind of interesting. Uh, it's plus one, doesn't do a ton, but negative two lightning bolt, the ultimate, obviously flips a bunch of coins, which is very powerful. Still, the coin flips only for the ultimate, so it's not going to flip coins very quickly or consistently. Creepy Doll, I forgot, this is like the bad stuffy doll, right? Indestructible. When Creepy Doll deals combat damage to a creature, flip a coin. If you win the flip, destroy that creature. So it's like death touch 50% of the time, essentially. Uh, that seems way too slow. Goblin Kaboom has been your upkeep, been not very good. Cumulative upkeep, flip a coin. Whenever you win a coin flip, deals one damage to any target. When you lose a coin flip, deals one damage to any target of an opponent's choice. That's a risky one. Ling Luigi Man, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big super for you. Mirror March, I think, is too expensive. What does odds and ends do? Flip a coin. If it comes up head, counter instant or sorcery spell. If it comes up tails, copy that spell, and you may choose new targets for the copy. Ooh. Okay, so that actually seems kind of decent. Because no matter what, you're fine with it. And it flips a coin. Like, if you counter it, that's fine. And if you get to copy it, that's even better. That reminds me of some of the... That actually reminds me of some of the, the dice rolling cards in Standard. Where the floor is, like, high enough that you're not usually going to get wrecked by it. And the ceiling's not super high. But still, you know, either, either way it's going to turn out fine. So that actually seems like it could be pretty good. Ends. Five mana instant target player sex to attacking creatures. So I don't know about... I don't know about the end side of it. I don't know if I'd splash uh, mana specifically for it. Tides of War. Oh, no. I've seen that commander. To it, a giant, when attacks, flip two coins. If they both come up heads, it gains double strike. If they both up, come up tails, it gains menace. Uh, Frenetic Sliver is kind of interesting. It can flip a lot of coins, but it's not like Frenetic of Free. Because it has to be on the battlefield. Frenetic of Free, you could just stack up a million coin flips. And, like, Frenetic of Free is like a, a two-card combo with Chance Encounter. Uh, so you're just guaranteed. Or Infinite Mana would... Wow. Hmm. Are people playing that in Commander? I mean, that's just a two-card Infinite Mana combo with Tavern Swindler, right? I'm thinking... Frenetic of Free. Frenetic of... Wow. Maybe we gotta try this deck in Legacy. Because Frenetica Freed's insane. Frenetica Freed is... Frenetica Freed is zero flip a coin. If you win, it phases out. If you lose, sacrifice it. The big deal is it doesn't have that... It doesn't have that safety valve of if it's on the battlefield, like the sliver. So what that means is you can actually just take in... You can actually just take in make infinite mana. Like, play Tavern Scoundrel play frenetic uh a free flip a million coins all just stacking up the triggers and then sure your frenetic of free is gonna die but you're gonna win half a million tavern scoundrel triggers and get you know a million treasures or whatever or guarantee that you're gonna get chance encounter huh i didn't actually realize that that was hmm yeah i didn't realize that that combo existed i might have to i might have to make a short about that <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a that sounds like a good a good short. Anyway, yeah, I don't know. Uh, the other option would be to things that are payoffs for the treasures. Uh, Mary Netmaster was mentioned. Uh, tap. What was a uh, Gerper Ether Grid? I think. Uh, Gerper Ether Grid is another interesting possibility. Just tap two artifacts, one damage. Although, I'm not sure how much we can embrace the treasure plan, just because just because we don't have a, more than Tavern Scoundrel to make treasures. So, we did have some games where we ended up with a lot of treasures, but we would, if we add in these artifact payoffs, we're going to have games where we don't get a treasure, uh, Tavern Scoundrel, or it just dies, and then we have even more dead draws, which is a bit of a concern. So, uh, no goldfish, you won't do... Uh, you won't do anyone that you'll time... Wait. You won't do... A, you'll time out on Moto. Oh, you might, you might time out. Actually, it seems pretty... Yeah. I mean, you can't do a million for sure. But I actually really like this deck. And maybe we'll do more coin flipping because, honestly, heading into it, I was expecting... I was expecting us to not really win much. And I was hoping we'd win a match, maybe. And going three and two, that's a lot better than I expected. So... All right, so that's coin flipping. We can try combo zombies, although we definitely won't go get through a whole league. But if you, ah, 
Or we could save combo. Maybe we do some more coin flipping. What do you think? Do we want to just... Maybe we update coin flipping. Do you think that's a better idea? I feel like Combo Zombies is a deck that has enough potential that I don't really want to just, like, play a match or two of it and not... And, and not really give it its due... It's, like, full credit. Because I feel like... I feel like it's going to be good enough that we can do a whole stream for it. So maybe, considering we aren't going to have enough time in the stream to do a whole nother league, maybe we just do some more coin flipping and add in some new cards. And then and then do an entire streamer video for a... Uh, do an entire streamer video for uh, the zombie deck. Because I really think the combo has a lot of potential. I've already, I built the deck, I've done a couple of test matches with it, and I think it actually could be pretty good because it's good without it's good enough without the combo that that has a that gives a lot of potential have you already tried barbarian class so we've done barbarian class in standard i mean that's the other thing how about this is option three would you for option three now that we flip, flip coins should we jump over to arena and roll some dice for the last hour or so of the stream and just get all all the variants all the variants out of the way it was that's the other possibility. We could play some standard 2022 and roll some dice. And just, it's variance night. It's random night. Roll some dice. Yeah, let's let's roll some dice. I'm fine with that. Let's do some dice rolling. We'll, we'll switch it up. Look at how beautiful, look at how beautiful this, this background is. It's clean. Much has been deleted. I figured you'd be proud of, I figured you'd be proud of me. Yeah, let's we'll switch it up a little bit. Cause we don't have uh oh, what's going on? Uh we don't have a we don't have a ridiculous a ridiculously long time, so I think we'd only get through like a match or two of a league. So it's probably better just going to arena where we can just mess around and roll dice. Modern dice rolling. The problem with modern dice rolling. We got another new donation. Doretti Spaghetti $2 donation. After blind flipping five coins twice. You can't complain about bad coin luck anymore. I think that's probably true. That's probably true. We used up all of our luck in those rolls. <laughs> the problem with the problem with rolling uh, dice in modern is dice is only in adventures in the forgotten realms at least like with the with the coin flipping deck as you saw there we got like a little bit of a little bit of modern horizon stuff we got some stuff from from original mirrored in block we have i guess that's uh, we got a little bit of of ravnica block in there uh, we have more modern horizons or even before so i think the issue is that we just need more sets essentially we need we need more sets uh we need more sets to make more coin flipping cards uh oh all right so what, why can't i not get oh control d all right so so let's let's try rolling some dice do i have I don't even know if I have Dice Twin in this account. I actually think that that Dice Twin could be could be somewhat competitive. I feel like it could be somewhat competitive. We should probably here. Let me import this. All right, dice twin twenty twenty two, and then I'll stick the deck in the in the chat because I think this is also this one's probably got to be this one's probably got to be updated a little bit just because this was a originally a budget build, so I think we need to fix the lands. And let me know if there's anything else that we should be adding. Because this was this was supposed to be budget, but we don't have to play budget at the moment. One, two, three, four. No evolving wilds. Uh one, two, three, four. We should switch to snow so we can play fiery impulse. 
so and in some lands. Is there anything else that would be good in this deck for standard? Ugh, one, two, three, four. All right, so I think the mana base looks something like that. Ooh, you're playing Dice Twin in Historic? Ooh. The only other thing I want to add, like, I don't think we need these dwarves. And we can play... We can play uh, Frostbite as removal. Uh, and expressive... Expressive iteration is just, like, kind of... Kind of busted, so should we probably play it? I think we'll keep the Tricksters. The Tricksters don't seem great, but they seem fine. Probably don't need Power of Persuasion. Probably don't need all the contact to other planes. And now we can add in... Alright, get rid of this... Get rid of Chaos Channeler. And since we're not budget, we can also play... Play the artifacts. Um, play, like, the deck of many things. I actually kind of liked how deck of many things played in treasure chest, cove, map, whatever. Go down this, go down this. Yeah, let's try it like that. I think that's that's close enough. Close enough. Oh wait. Any any other changes? Field of Ruins for the book deck. Oh, we're gonna play standard 2021, so no field of ruin allowed. Need land destruction. You know what? You know what we'll do then? We will play a single wish. And we will play. And we'll play Cleansing Wildfires. And Morden Kanan. Alrun's Epiphany. Test of Talents. Uh, it's not banned until tomorrow. Do you think Saw Coming is better than you find a Villain Slayer in this deck? I'm actually not sure if it is. Yeah, the banning doesn't go into effect until tomorrow, though. Eh, all right, let's let's try it. Let's try it and see what happens. Let's play some magic. Uh, Brazendorf isn't bad. I just don't think Brazendorf is that good. Maybe we should be playing Brazendorf. I think I would rather not play the Snarl and be able to have Faceless Haven. Ultra Week! Welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big super chat for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Any chance of updating Modern Shaman with Delina? Huh. I don't know if it'd be worth it or not. It could be fun. Hey, what's up, Sir Alex? How are you? You know what? Let's... We're on the draw... Let's mulligan. All right, that's better. Well, we got the control hand. No dice rolling yet. Ugh, all right. Mono green is a deck that a lot of people are playing. and seems pretty good. Any reason we aren't playing the red creature land... I think there's a... I think there's just a question as to how many we can... How many we can put in... Oh, yeah, I gotta... I gotta switch to arena settings. Excuse me. Um... Scoot, scoot. Get rid of that. Oh, let me see, Corneas. Well, play on land. We might end up looting here. Pass the turd. Delina works with Sean. Wait. 
Wait, what is... Opponent gets in, hits us. Oh, like trying to use it, trying to use it with like Harmonic Prodigy to pull off the the same combo. That that's kind of sweet. Uh, we are we are rolling. We switched up from flippy coins to rolling dice. Playing a little standard 2022. Create a treasure venture into a dungeon. Well, discard Faceless Haven. Discard. Well, Pathway. Pona thought we were countering it. No, we don't. We don't care about you venturing into a dungeon, opponent. Go ahead. Did you see the combo with Volo and Mutate creatures? What uh, what is the combo with Volo and Mutate creatures? I don't think uh, I don't think I know what that combo is. How is Standard Arena actually slower than any match on Moto? <laughs> All the animations take up time, and I think players tend to be slower. Wow, Double Rangers, we're super dying here. So it's kind of an awkward flood out sort of draw. Opponent levels up. Ugh. Only one red source. Yeah, you know what? Boom. See what happens. Make some treasures. Uh, yeah. I don't see a way out of this. Kill Swarm Shambler. Pona gets a dork. Kill the big wolf. Past the turn, but double Rangers class insane. Yeah, Rangers class, one of the best standard cards from the set by a pretty big margin, I think. Like, Rangers class is really strong. Well, Expressive Iteration is a good card. Ugh. Alright. Sure. Sure. Hi, that's a lot of lands on the top of the deck. You can mutate twice with Volo. Ooh. That sounds that sounds fun. So it just copies it copies mutate creatures like any other creature basically. Um it was okay there. <laughs> I don't know how good uh, I don't know how good the counter is I don't know if it's better than uh, Saw it coming or not honestly Oh so you're like triggering mutate twice That is That is a sweet idea The problem uh, The problem is It would probably be fun for commander I think the problem is Mutate rotates, so you can't play it in post-rotation standard, and in current standard, there's a a bit of an issue that Bone Crusher Giant just wrecks Volo like hardcore, but it does sound like it'd be fun to try to pull off, but it gets in, it's us. Mad Mage Speedrun, huh? What is this? Attacking spirits get, pl they're playing spirits? All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, well, expressive iteration. Uh, treasure chest in hand. Deck of many things library. Mountain. Play the mountain past the turn. That looks sweet, Corneas. Yeah, dungeon, uh, the dungeon deck. It's going to be interesting to see how that shakes out. Yeah, I... 
I don't know. Oh, are we in unranked? Oh, I think we're in unranked. That's probably why we're seeing that. That's probably well, that's probably a bad sign that we're in unranked and we're getting <laughs> and we're losing. <laughs> Opponent hits us. Venerable War Singer. That's actually a good card. No, play land, play Delina. Oh yeah, we're just. We're getting owned and unranked by Blood Age General. Rally the ranks. Opinions on new blacklist set structure after a couple years in practice. I think there's upsides and downsides. I think there's upsides and downsides. I think... Wow, we can't even get through this. Yeah, we're... Jeez! Well, that's best of one for you. Well, we can try to get lucky, actually. Pixie Guide. 14% to win the game. 14%. Alright. 20. 20. Yeah, we'll keep going. 20. Okay, odds increasing. 16. Okay, up to 4. Odds increasing. 15. Okay, okay, keep going. Odds getting even better. Seven. Now, oh my god, are we going to win this? Are, is our luck still good? Are we going to hit the 14 percenter? Six, 18, okay. Once you get to eight, the odds of missing are very low. Like, now we're like 90, I think we're up to 95%, something like that, to win. 19. And once you get to 12, it's like 99. Like, it just should not happen. I mean, we're go we gotta keep going. We gotta go until we okay twenty. I think we've gone infinite. I think we've gone infinite. I think we've gone infinite. Oh, nineteen. Yeah. I mean, with rolling this many dice, the math is you should not. Okay, so what's happening here is Delana Wild Mage has an ability that says when it attacks, you roll a dice. Uh, you target a creature and roll a dice. Uh, if you get a if you get a 1 through 14, you get a copy of that creature tacked in a, uh, tapped and attacking. If you roll a 15 through 20, you get a copy and get to roll again. Pixie Guide makes it so if you'd roll a dice, you get to roll an extra dice instead. So the combo is basically target your Pixie Guide with Delina and hope that you get a few going. Because once you get several Pixie Guides going, you're basically... You're very unlikely to lose the roll. At this point, we're, like, essentially infinite. It's, like, one in thousands, one in a thousand that we would actually not get a 15 through 20, rolling 22 dice. So we're, like, not infinite infinite, but we're, like, virtually infinite. And uh, these don't have reach, right? They do not. All right. Got them. Got them. <laughs> yeah, the roll is a the roll is a may. Oh, I mean, that's in standard. That's in standard. That is a thing. My message was blocked. Can I see moderation settings? Uh, I don't know. I don't think there's a way to see moder. I actually don't know if there's a way to see moderation settings. I don't think there is. What a... You can send me your message and I try to look into it. What well, was there like cursing or anything offensive in it? It's a stupid. I mean, so the odds of doing it with just a single pixie guide are like 14%. So it's not very high that you're going to go infinite with a single pixie guide. But once you get to like three or four pixie guides, once you get to three or four pixie guides, the odds actually become become pretty reasonable where you probably should actually go infinite like you're unlucky if you don't go infinite so that's why we're playing like all the barbarian classes a bunch of pixie guys just to try to shift the math in our favor as much as possible essentially well pixie guide go about it We've had some good luck tonight. We cannot complain about our, our variance luck for a minute because we've had good luck tonight. Opponent passes. Huh. Well, play the land. We're going to play the play the control game for the moment. 
Elds Drummer. Welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big super chat for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, well, you can try it again, uh, vaccinated pathogen. I'm, uh, I, I don't know how to show, I don't know if there's a way to see mod settings, but feel free to send the comment again. Sorry that happened to you. Opponent pass. Ooh, okay. We need to find Delina. And we also need to not die. Let's pixie guide. Leaving up a removal spell is kind of nice here, because it means we're not going to... We're not going to lose to an equipment on Blade Master. Opponent. Akiri, sure. I do think that red white, uh, red white equipment could be good after rotation. And let's just expressive iteration. Delina in hand. Iteration in deck, mountain in exile. Barbarian glass. Oh, we might be doing it. We have a lot of pixie guides stacked up. We got a lot of pixie guides. Luminarchus pirate, sure. Opponent. Gonna start growing the dorks. Yep. Attacks, attacks. Well, kill the Blade Master. Take our beats. Now level up. Level up. Next turn's a turn. No attacks. Starting with three pixie guys on the battlefield is pretty good. Aspire it, sure. Opponent, bring it. Hits us. No blocks. Well, here we go. Delina. Attack. Pixie guy. Hit. Keep going. Hit. Keep going. Oh, fizzle. All right, so not lethal. Not lethal, not lethal. Not horrible, but not lethal. Opponent takes nine. Yeah, Arena only shows four dice for some reason. I watched your vid and your story about a sick person taking dog medicine made me think of season two, epi uh, season two episode of Owl House. I've never seen Owl House. What is uh, what is Owl House? Oh my God, Goldspan. Well, as long as we live, we just try to combo again. Opponent attacks with everything. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, we got a block. Yeah, well, that cuts down a pixie guide, which is bad. Blade Master. Gonna have to get a little lucky. Delina. Attack, attack. Copy. Lose. Mm. Well, you can see the you can see the downside. You can always see the downside uh, of of having your combo. It's not Splinter Twin. You can see the downside of having your combo be reliant on rolling dice. Like we got really lucky to win with one Pixie Twin the the time before, but uh, that time we. Didn't roll enough dice and fizzled, and then we lost. So I think that's what's going to keep decks like this or the the coin flipping deck in modern from ever being like truly competitive decks. You just always have this like, oh, I did everything right and I still lost aspect built in. Oh, I'll have to I'll have to check it out. Vaccinated. Always use uh, the plus two from class on Delina. It gives menace. Yeah, it's, uh, seems, seems like something that's worth keeping in mind. Good idea. Hey, what's up, uh, Gilgum? 
Land Go. How are you tonight? About it. Yeah, every time you win and get another Pixie Guide, you increase your odds of winning the next time because you have more dice to roll. Okay. Um, well, let's expressive iteration. Land in hand. Trickster thing, bottom. Land in exile. Oh, we got to discard a hand. Well, that might not have been the smartest plan. But that's the turn. Doing good. Uh, still working, but need some. Uh, but need something nice on the background. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, play on the island. Pass the turn. We'd like to counter a dragon and then, like, resolve Book of Many Things. <laughs> Opponent, vicious with those Prismari commands to the face. Opponent. Yeah, Mana Clash is definitely interesting. Huh. When can we start doing extra things? Well, play on the island, pass the turn. About it adapts. Yeah, the the coin flip being like was super fun. I could imagine I could imagine playing that again. Opponent. Not hitting their lands in passing. Well, now we get to... Now we get to play Treasure Chest. And still leave up a counter. It, try to decide. I ain't gonna spend their saw it coming, sure. That is acceptable. Pass the dirt. Yeah, the dice rally cards are definitely really, really fun. Interesting. Opponent, more foretelling. Well, oh, play the land. Play Delina. All right, saw it coming. Well, opponents, counters for days. Pass the turn. Plays a land. Foretells. Passes. Expressive iteration. Um, Pixie Guide in hand. Barbarian class bottom. Land to the side land pixie guide go mana clash tom through uh two op for against odds maybe we've played it we've actually played it in the past uh sunrek we did a we did a dice uh dice or a coin flipping deck We've done die rolling too, I guess, but uh, but yeah, so we've actually done it in the past, but it could be a fun one to revisit at some point. Ismareth. Whoa! All right, opponent drew all the saw it comings. Well, that's a pretty big problem. Not sure how we're going to deal with our opponent drawing all those cards. That's a lot of Zog Cummings. About it gets it, it says. Yeah, it is legal and modern. Draws a card. Plays a land. Passes. Huh. 
Well, frostbite. Thundering Rebuke. And let's... Deck of many things. Draw some cards. play the land past the turn. All right, we dealt with the dragon, which is huge, 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 huge. Yeah, haste is definitely super helpful. Haste from barbarian class is a big deal. Yeah, I think barbarian class helps a lot. I'm excited to try wizard spellbook in commander. commander. You can cast spells from your opponent's graveyards too. Ooh. I didn't actually, I didn't actually consider that. That is pretty sweet. Well, counter, Galazeth. Wow, another expressive iteration of the treasure. We're getting close, we're getting close. I mean, deck of many things actually pretty good once it gets going. Drawing to a turn is actually kind of strong. Yeah, I just wish Witcher's Spellbook was not so much mana. That's the biggest drawback, because it's just, whew, expensive, expensive, expensive. Now, play this on blue. Play Delina. Deck of many things. Draw a couple cards. Pass the turn. We need a pixie! We need a pixie! We need a pixie, pixie, pixie. That's what we're missing. About it. Dragonfire. Ha. Huh. Okay. Think we gotta let it go. Ismereth. Well, you we gotta counter that. <laughs> you countered all of our stuff too about it. Um well play the land deck of m many things. Get back thundering rebuke. Pass the turn. Usury, we actually got a treasure chest. We went... <laughs> we went to... Uh, we went three and two, which I was pretty thrilled with. Well, Faceless Haven versus Faceless Haven. Opponent Frostbites, we will counter... Wow, Bonus Coops it up. We just out-controlled the dragon deck that is at the top of the format. Yeah, not bad, not bad. All right, one more. Well, let's see if we combo off one more time. But, I don't know. After the highs of the dice roll, of the coin flipping deck, this deck's cool. And we got to see a cool, a cool combo, but I, it's... It doesn't quite have the same adrenaline rush as flipping coins, where it's like, oh my goodness, if we win this flip, we're going to like win the game. You don't quite, I mean, I guess you get a little bit with the combo itself, but you don't really get it as much with this deck. Yeah, Thundering Reboot could be a lot better as an instant. Also, oops, really important to remember that Standard is going to look different than Standard 2022. Like, we're going to have another set that might not sound like much, and in some sense... It isn't that much. It's only one additional set, uh, only one additional set, but Wizards designs design sets to make a format and to be together. So some of the stuff that looks weird right now, like not having a answer to Faceless Haven uh, to stop the combo, probably not actually going to be a problem once we, once we get another set, hopefully, in theory. 
coin flip today was so entertaining and those 40 treasures were hilarious yeah it was that egg was like spectacularly just spectacularly fun to play well treasure chest Yeah, might as well go attacking. Hedgea. Now did I We're getting close. We got a pixie guide. We got Delina. Opponent's playing Simic, so they shouldn't have too much removal. I mean, I think that the new set will most likely have some sort of ghost quarter style effect. I'm not expecting a a stone rain style card. But I do think. I do think it'll have some sort of some sort of way to interact with lands. Seems pretty likely. Yeah, I'm not sure that uh, you find a villain's lair is better than Saw It Coming. Like, here we could just be uh, foretelling Saw It Coming, so I kind of feel like maybe even with a card draw ability, it might just be worse. You don't think they'll put Ghost Quarter in Standard again? I mean... I'm not actually... I don't actually think that Field of Ruin is worse than Ghost Quarter. <laughs> I think if you look at Modern, like... A, a lot of decks... I actually think Field of Ruin is more powerful than Ghost Quarter. If that, if that makes sense. Especially... Especially in Standard, where... Especially in Standard, where you're trying to answer, like a creature land or a combo land the only reason that ghost quarter actually actually sees play is to deal with really fast land combos like tron like that's that's kind of the drawback of the drawback of uh of field of ruin is against like modern tron it's just a little bit too slow if you're on the draw but uh ghost quarter is painful like in general your, you blow up your opponent's land and you get a land is uh, and your opponent gets a land is much better than going down a land like that's kind of the big the big problem with ghost quarter is going down a land is pretty painful so I actually think that I actually think that field of ruin is probably more powerful in general yeah maybe we should have looted hmm max awkwardness well let's Thundering Rebuke. Pixie Guide. Hit ya. Yeah, Coma is definitely a card that we cannot beat. Okay. Mascot Exhibition. I'm assuming this is Alrin's Epiphany, and I don't know if we can beat Mascot Exhibition Alrin's Epiphany either. About it. Alrin's Epiphany. Well, at least it's before Mascot Exhibition. Probably should have sequestered the other way. Also in Brawl, I actually ramped by copying the trigger, blowing up two lands. Okay, there it is. Mascot Exhibition, but it hits us. Well, I don't think we really have a choice but to play Delina and just hope. Hope that we get to attack with it. No removal. No coma. No Alrin's Epiphany. About it. Looking. We just want a shot. We just want a shot to roll some dice. Roll some dice and see what happens. Opponent smacks us. Sure. Down to 11. Alright. Well, we get a shot. That's all we can ask for. Play the land. Pixie guide. Go to combat. Well, counter it. Alright. Well, we 
we do not get a shot. <laughs> oh, huh. Well, all right, one more, one more, one more game, and then, and then, and then we're gonna call it. I mean, odds are not that great that we win, but it would have been nice to have been able to roll the dice and see what happens. Yeah, we wouldn't have had the mana for the two counters anyway, unfortunately. Or we would have had to try to go with one pixie twin, or uh, pixie guide, which is really not likely. Well, all right, we're going to try it. We'll see what our opponent's up to. Wait, is this the same name of the person we were just playing against? Uh, well, land go. About it. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, this is... Well, hmm. I don't think we can beat Blueback Control with this deck. One in a million. Like, there's just no way. If we do win, it's gonna, buy, gonna be with, like, Treasure Chest or something. Well, play a land, go to combat, attack ya. Pass the turn. I think you want to add green for Emergent Sequence and Snakeskin Veil. Uh, maybe. I think the problem right now is the mana is incredibly poor. I think it's actually, like, really, really hard to play three colors in a standard 2022. Once we get, once we get another set with hopefully more lands, it should be easier. But for the time being, I have found three colors to be pretty bad. Like, you just lose yourself a lot. Giant's Amulet. But more protection is, is nice. Giant's... What is Giant's Amulet? Plus one, plus zero, and Hexproof as long as it's untapped. Uh, it's only two to equip. I mean, that's kind of a... Kind of an interesting idea. I think... If it had a hexproof all the time, I guess that's fine. Because then you can attack and get in the. At least you get the attack trigger. Ugh. Yeah, I mean this is. Ugh, there's no. There's not many good options here. Opponent drawing three is gonna find them answers and. Huh. But countering it means we're not going to be able to protect the combo. We really need to find a Barbarian class, I think. I think Barbarian class is the most important thing. About it. Faceless Haven. Draugr Necromancer. Sure. And... Thinking. Passing. Maybe. <laughs> Opponent's a full control kind of player. Uh, well, we will play a land. Kill the Necromancer. Go attacking. <laughs> One damage at a time. We're doing this the slow way. I wonder if giants will be good after rotation. Well, can't really let that happen. I mean, this is actually kind of fine because it means we get down deck of many things. And deck of many things actually is kind of absurd. Just like... Drawing two every turn is really strong. So we might not be able to combo, but we might be able to just out out grind our opponent, because I don't know how they're gonna get rid of this deck of many things. It would be really sweet if Giants could work. Losing Crystalline hurts. Is Crystalline a big deal? I mean I guess it's it does fill a nice spot on the curve. All right, gonna kill the pixie guide. Sure. Well, we have our Morden Canyon essentially. Hopefully, 
Oh, I guess we should have activated this first, shouldn't we have? Why just discard our hand? Okay. Whew. We get back a counter, which is actually kind of nice. Seth, what do you think about Demolich in Modern? I have tried it in Blitz, got it down on turn two. My friend sent me a screenshot of a Phoenix list with four on turn three and a Phoenix as well. I think, uh, I think Phoenix is probably the the best, most likely home for it. And I think that it could actually be... I think that it could actually be pretty good in Phoenix deck. So I think out of all the cards in Adventures of Forgotten Realms, it's one of the ones that has the most potential in modern. Although it is also it is also a relatively powered out set. So the best card from Adventures of Forgotten Realms, if it was compared to like Eldrain or something, is would probably be like the I don't know. Where would Demolich rank in Eldrain? That's actually kind of an interesting question. That might be interesting article actually where would it rank i bet it would definitely rank outside of the top 10 would it rank outside of the top 20 cards in eldrain it actually might like i think it would be pretty far down the list man vs manity welcome to the fishbowl thank you so much for your subscription big scoop cheer for you thank you thank you thank you about it hmm Sure, Crippling Fear. That's fine. Yeah, I think... Has anyone tried it in Historic? Can I ask your thoughts on Pauper Affinity? Some people are suggesting that Atox should be banned, while other people think that its dual artifact lands should go. Hmm. So... I haven't played much Pauper in quite a while, so keep that in mind. But I would say, in general, I would lean towards... I would lean towards banning artifact lands. Maybe it's different in Pauper, but in general, that has been a successful technique in other formats. So I think I would probably lean towards that as well. Gotta get down this barbed... Barian class. Haste is really key. Oh, level it up. Pass the turn. Alright, I mean, we still need some creatures, but we're gonna be to the point where we can do the whole combo in one turn, which is probably our best bet against this control deck. And hopefully we keep drawing with the deck of many things. Hey, what's up, Moth Maya? Hi, I've always loved your content. You are so lovely. Well, thank you. Uh, much love. May I ask your opinion about Red White Dragons with Inferno? Uh, Inferno is one of the cards that I think is going to be best for Standard from Forgotten Realms. I think it's actually, like, really good. So, I haven't tried Red White. I've seen a bunch of different colors of dragons. Red White is not one of them. But, uh... All right, we get our... Pi oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. We're close. We're super close. But I think that there will be a good a good dragon deck in standard, fueled by... Fueled by Inferno and some of the other Forgotten Realms dragons. We're going to wait till next turn when we can have counter backup. Hit you for one. About it. Takes it. I guess we could have deck of many things to try to pump, but... Well, the multiversion... We actually might actually pull this off. Thank you for the kind words, Moth, uh, Moth Mia. I've never seen a 20 with the deck of many things. Never. Not even once. It's actually super hard. <laughs> the being empty-handed clause makes it really challenging. About it. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I guess we should counter that. That actually is kind of scary. That's just so many cards. Well, that can many things. Can we find a pixie guide? Or a barbarian class? Oh! Opponent didn't even wait for the combo, but apparently we can't beat the control decks. 
Oh, on that note, everyone, I think that brings us to the end of our stream for tonight. So we rolled dice, we flipped coins, we did a little bit of everything. The dice rolling deck in Standard is fun. The coin flipping deck in Modern was spectacular and awesome and one of the most fun decks we played in a while. Like, And we even got a winning record with it. So uh, anyway, everyone, reminders. Next stream, Monday. In the meantime... Tons of stuff going on the YouTube. We're playing a really sweet modern deck for much of Brew. There's standard dice rolling uh, for against odds. It's already up, so check that out. The replay YouTube, if you missed any of the stream, check out the coin flipping deck. It was really sweet. And one more reminder that our sponsor tonight is Card Kingdom. And maybe you need some magical cards. Well, you can get them from over at cardkingdom.com. Even get a free MTG Goldfish sticker. Just let them know you want one. They'll hook you up. They're pretty awesome like that. So, uh, most importantly, thank you to all of you. Y'all are amazing and awesome. And seriously, I appreciate y'all so much. So, have an amazing night. Have a great weekend. I'll see you Monday to have some more fun. So, until then, uh, yeah, have a good weekend. And yeah, I'll try to do a clip. That was a that was a good one. And I'll talk to you all soon. So, thanks again, everyone. And uh, yeah, see you Monday.